Oh my God, we're in hell. Hello, everybody. Welcome to hell. And uh, also, welcome to our game. <laughs> so, um, when we last left off, things fell on tables. Yes. Uh, it's raining outside. That's the constant sound of a flushing toilet in the background. And uh, you all had an encounter um, with a, a very odd sight where you found a titan's helmet and a sword. And Nick's got an orb. And there was a spined devil inside. Or at least there was supposed to be spined devil. But I said bone devil. Didn't matter. Even if it was the high, much higher level CR devil, you guys still wrecked it all the same. Didn't let it explain itself. Didn't talk with it. Just plowed it over. And um, Nyx had like a vision in the dream night before about a um, an archpriest of Tiamat, a worm speaker, as they're called, um, fighting off against a titan that was the son of... Um, and I already forgot his name. Yurter, I think. The Sir, god of... Surter. Surter. The god of fire giants. So it was fighting a... A son of a god, quite literally. Um, the battle was epic, but short. And... Um, Just like Nyx. <laughs> and... Uh, that titan stole a very important, very powerful artifact for Tiamat uh, and the group uh, coincidentally enough the next day found the remains of this this Titan and this artifact itself and they acquired it so I believe that's where we left off with uh, Nyx holding this blue orb that is 10 inches in diameter there's like a mist swirling inside it you swear you can hear whispers in maybe Draconic inside. Neat. So Nick sits down and immediately tries to attune to it. Does anyone else do anything for an hour? Um, I'm assuming we just got off the giant sword at this point, right? Yes. Well, uh, if uh, Nick didn't want the, the egg, uh, I would be attuning to it. I mean... By all means, I found something from my previous life. You can have it. Oh, okay. I'll be doing that then. Right. The, the yes. egg? Phylactery. Phylactery. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so. Are we setting up uh, for a short rest, I guess? If you want to short rest, those that are tuning can also short rest. I don't think it matters, because I just said off camera, since you guys leveled up, we go. I go the Skyrim route, where you just, everything tops off when you level up. Right. Yeah. But, um, so, while you two are tuning, um, Rick to Finn, um, you can definitely feel that there is a soul in here. A very old soul. Uh, older than anything that, um, you thought could even be feasibly, um, still in its own form for this amount of time. Because even souls will deteriorate over time. Eventually, when they're in their afterlife, their energies mesh with that plane. Not just the lower planes. The lower planes aren't the only ones that have that. Even the upper planes. Like Mount Olympia and stuff. Eventually they become the 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 shimmering silver ocean of Oceanus. In some places, you know. Anyway. But this is an immensely old soul that seems to be bound into this egg that you attune to. And essentially what you get out of the attunement is if you get... <clears throat> Within 30 feet of Kochichi, the demon lord of frost giants, you can use it to attempt to dominate him, as in the spell Dominate Monster, and not in the kinky way. Um, <laughs> Thank you for specifying that with him. I had a feeling I'd have to. He's a legendary epic level creature, but he cannot use his legendary resistances or his magic advantages against this. Um, but you know that uh, you will have control over him completely and utterly. But you have to get within 30 feet. I thought you said 60. 
I believe it's three. Mm. And then um, Nyx. Yes. You attune to that orb. Yay! And inside, you feel the presence of something very um, powerful. Very, My conscience? Very um, angry that it oh. is bound in here. Not my conscience. But no actual words are heard. Oh, just I don't a, get another invisible friend. You just feel the emotion coming from this orb. Actually, I think about it. Oh, no. Um, we're going to have to double check these things. Don't say retcon. Don't say retcon. But... Artifacts in 5th edition all are unique in their own special ways. And because they're unique in their own special ways, I'm going to need you to roll D-hundreds for me. Oh no. Me and Mav, I assume? Uh, not Mavs. Oh. Oh, Cause, okay. Because Mavs is more of like a McMuff McMuffin? Yeah, we'll say McMuffin. Not a McGuffin. McGuffin? It's not a McGuffin, it's a McMuffin. I heard that joke somewhere. I think it was for one of the new Star Wars movies. They were on the quest for a McMuffin. But anyway. Um, Can I play 20 of those? Yeah. <laughs> so that would be an 82. All right. Um, these are going to be a few things. So uh -oh. this will take a bit. I'm Thanks, finding man. I'm finding your orbs stuff. Okay. So, well, there, what there was, was the number? Uh, 82. There was something that you had left on the D&D &D Beyond page that gave it some of the information of, I'm assuming, what it could do. Yes, those are the base things it can do. But on top of that, they have um, pro additional properties. Some of them are beneficial, and some of them are detrimental. Usually, more evil artifacts have more detrimental than beneficial to stack on top. Um, so Four. for 81, um, 82, uh, while attuned to this orb, you are able to cast, um, as an action, a lightning bolt from it. However, uh, when you do, you roll a d6, and if you do not roll a 6 on the d6, you can't cast it again till the next dawn. Well... Roll okay. me another D hundred. <laughs> okay. Like I said, it's going to be a bit. No, you're fine. Uh, Sixty five. No whammy. No whammy. No whammy. No whammy. I have a very okay. angry ball. <laughs> it's Phrasing. Just, <laughs> it's just the ball. Uh, there was like a. Nah, never mind. It just feels like it does not want to be in this ball. I mean, to be fair, neither would I. I can't really blame it. If I could talk to it, that'd be fucking hilarious. And you're not sure why? Maybe maybe it's personal freedom, but maybe it's just mad because of what it is. And it doesn't like being what it is. Mm. Uh, first level. Trying to find a good one. Essentially, you're going to get the same thing as that lightning bolt one, but a uh, first level spell. Let me find... <gasps> it's Ice Knife. It's Ice Knife. Both spells that I already have. Yeah, but you don't, you don't need a spell slot for those. If I choose to take the detrimental effects of them. No, you don't choose. These You attuned. You now have these. Oh, so... Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it has the ability to do these. Does this mean I don't have a choice of these side effects for nope. the spells that... Let me finish. For the spells <laughs> that I would cast from my own spell slots? Or do these effects only come into play if I'm casting it through the orb? Only when you're using the orb, specifically. See? Exactly. So, okay, let's continue. Uh, sorry, when you're attuned to the orb, I should say. Right. But casting it through the orb. Testing it from for these yeah, anyway. for these two spells, yes. Right. Um, I mean, you can use your ice knife with your level spell uh, slot, and it doesn't happen any weird shit. Mm -hmm. Now it's the right. part you're not gonna like. Roll me another d hundred. 
I didn't like the first two parts. <laughs> um, what do you mean? They're free spells today. Yeah. For the detrimental effects. What the hell? What detrimental effects? Well, we're about to see. What'd you get in the D100? Stop. <laughs> Just stop. Uh, 36. Uh, okay, so with the 36, um, you don't notice anything right away. Roll me another D100. <laughs> That's not ominous at all. These are some, some of my favorite as a DM, but my least favorite as a player things, where they're not something you notice immediately. Gee, thanks for that. <laughs> it's the reverse. 63. Six away. Oh, well. Um, Wait, what? Oh, boy. Okay, oh, so this thing's no. really mad at you. And as you tune to it, you take psychic damage. <laughs> Luckily, I, I gave you guys the Skyrim option for leveling up, so this shouldn't kill. You shouldn't kill? Nah, not at all. <laughs> you only take 17 psychic damage as the um, raw power of the artifact is has quite a bit of uh, feedback on your brain initially as you attune to it. So what you're saying is Nyx gets shocked. Psychically, yes. Lovely. Gives you a very sharp, piercing migraine for six seconds. Which isn't really a migraine, and I, and people who actually get migraines wish it, it was only six seconds. Yes, I have had them before. They are not fun. Well, as long as you're not spilling burnt toast or tasting metal in the air, you're fine. I'm fairly certain there's some type of blood coming from my ears, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, oh, you'll be fine. Brock, give me a religion check. Me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just saw blood spurt out of Nix's ears or ear holes. Anyways, natural 20, so that's a 23. You're not sure why, but you feel compelled to check your holy water that you all have. That we have separately, or that we. I believe Brock was holding all of it, right? Oh, that's right. That's right. It's I'm not done. a name. It's not in my inventory. Did you forget to put it there? Might have. It's been a while since we've used it. Well, it's it's fine. You don't need to worry about adding it on there because all your holy water is now normal water. What the? Just looks at this thing. Just like what? In the... Pours this a little bit out. Slowly looks at the the orb. All you see is the swirling abyss that you can't help but think is looking back. Immediately is uncomfortable with this thing. Nix, you said this was yours? Previous life, yeah. Oh, wait, oh. fuck. I forgot my accent. Previous life. Previous life, huh? What? What? So you what? died, came to hell, went back, and are coming back again? I, I guess I don't remember. What is, what is it? It's a blue orb. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't Give me an know. Arcana check if you're if you're curious. Me or them? A a anybody? I mean, I know what it is. Mm -hmm. Arcana issue. Okay. Let's say. Scotty, message. Oh no! You have to hold it. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Unless you, unless you have like unseen servant to hold it or something, uh, seventeen. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that the an orb of dragon kind. Uh, you've only heard legends of them, and apparently they can control dragons, evil dragons specifically. Keep that away. So you, in a previous life, you had an orb of dragon kind. <laughs> One that apparently shows up her her now just normalized bottle of what was holy water. One that apparently neutralizes holy water. Not all holy water. But all of our holy water is now normal. Well, it can't be all holy water. Maybe just ours. Are you sure it's not just for being in Avernus for a long time? Maybe if we stay enough, it will become unholy water. 
probably the fact that I'm just attuned to it. I don't know. I'm thinking about magic. Was this the thing you were talking about with your dream the other night? Yeah, the orb. Had it on the staff. And the what? The staff. The star? Do we have to find their staff I now? Will smack you. Hell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm messing up my accents horribly this evening. I am so sorry. You're fine. Uh, the answer is no. We don't. Oh, good. Just just Had needed it. just needed the orb. Did you see anything else? These things are usually very rare and very evil, especially the one the ones that let you control dragons. Well, yeah, I worked with Tian on me. I mean, of course, it's evil in the hell. We we all know that Im- immediately that name right? Tiamat, uh, who does not know in the Dungeons and Dragons multiverse Tiamat. I mean, name. didn't he try like, to attack like five years ago or, or two years ago? Oh yeah, she like she, in Torel, she's ridiculously famous, or I should say infamous. And again, I guess we would already know about them anyways because the cultists have been kind of dogging us. Mm-hmm. Like, so Rocket just like gets a look on her face of like just like. You were a cult, you were with Tiamat's cult in a previous life, and you you were Wait. in a high enough position to have an orb of dragon kind. Yep. Where you think think your answer carefully, Nix. Mm-hmm. In your previous life, were you a dragon? Dragon bone. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. But I was an arch priest. I was an arch priest of Tiamat, though. I mean, that sounds fun. In a nibble way that we should have not support. <laughs> right, but there's no point passing up an artifact of this kind of power if we can. Turn oh, it of course. I mean, right. Um, Maybe we can shove it up. Uh, please don't demons. finish that sentence. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Rocker just sits down and just takes a moment, and just process all of this. She's got her hands on her, her fingers on her temples, just like rubbing her temples. Like, oh god. Honestly, at this point, are you even surprised anything more? What happens down here? Uh, you'd think so, but the universe keeps giving me new things to be surprised about. The universe keeps. Yeah, I wish I should go back. I need to go back to the woods when we get back home. It's almost like we're in hell or something. Or something. Mm. All right. Well, we're burning hell light. Yep. Yeah. Oh, right. Sorry. I sidetracked us all. Uh, we can go now. Right. To, to this scab place and hopefully a way to get out of here. <laughs> Back to where things make sense. Okay. Just need to, just need to find a folk. Oh, yeah. I- I will. Uh, is our demon grinder full full health? Uh, I don't think so. I I mean the hour they spend to attune, I will heal a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, give me an intelligence check with proficiency because you're proficient with the tools. Okay. I'll say you were doing this during the hour. Yeah. That's that's what he just said. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh hey, that was just good enough that you repair you repair some hit points. Uh it it was still over half hit points, but it was definitely very dinged up. Oh, there we go. Oh. You almost maxed out on the uh, yeah. hit points. Nice. Check so, back out of this giant helmet. Stop ramming things into buildings. It's not really a building, it's a helmet. <laughs> in the distance, in the distance you think you can see a hill, and that's in the direction that um, the map has the scab, that so, bell marked on your map. We're still using the shortcut that I found by putting the two pieces of the map folded over, right? Yes, you're you're probably eighty percent of the way there from the shortcut. Yeah. Ah. Why is everything always on the horizon? 
because if it wasn't on the horizon, it wouldn't be a journey. I guess it makes sense. Really? Because I was just bullshitting that one. <laughs> <laughs> the journey was friendship all along. Good thing you guys aren't in Planescape because asking why is everything on the horizon there would just open up a bunch of philosophical stuff like are the planes <laughs> literally flat? Are they all plain? Or is this just? Oh no! Everything's literally on the horizon because it's all flat. I know. Flat are you one of those plane planes society. Are... Flat planers. <laughs> okay, before we fall down that stupid. And then, a, and then a gnome in Biotopia is like, "That can't be possible because the plane's down here and up there." <laughs> what? Whatever. Anyway, so um, D and D nerd the lord aside, I assume you guys uh, head out then. Yep. Through hell we ride. As you head out, you feel more experienced, aka your level up. And um <laughs> Ding. We're twelve now? No, no. Damn that it. was <laughs> <laughs> But uh so you guys travel and you eventually get to what feel it seems like almost a, a marsh, but instead of water, it's just blood. Red blood everywhere. And not a drop. And of the vehicles are having a little bit of tough time, so it's like difficult terrain. They're like moving at half speed through it. But besides that, they're moving just fine. Um, I would say um, you guys would be able to find spots where you wouldn't have your vehicle sink in. So it's whatever. But you do eventually arrive at a spot where I can add flavor text. As you arrive at the scab of Avernus. Okay, no offense, but what kind of flavor... T I probably don't want to know the answer to this question. What kind of flavor text can you add to a scab? A large, disgusting scab the size of a large hill rises up from the sinking swamp of blood. A domed top with an alabaster temple pokes through the scab. Many black iron chains of Avernus, which apparently Asmodeus really likes the aesthetic of, uh, converge on the building, attaching within the grotesque mound should not have asked that. I should not have asked that question. You find, uh, um, you know the Mammoth Graveyard in Lion King, where there's like those giant skeletons and stuff? Graveyard. Yeah, you find like the, um, there's like giant rib cages of stuff in here too. You yeah. find you find bits of demons here and there <laughs> as well. What's the biggest demons around that we can see? Uh, give me a Arcana check at disadvantage because they're all gibbed pretty bad, so it'd be hard to recognize. What would it be for for Raka if she wanted to roll something? Would it be Arcana or Nature? It, it would still be Arcana. Ah, okay. Demons are not Nature; <laughs> they are the opposite. Well, I got a nineteen and a twenty. Ooh, okay. The largest one you find is a. Um... Ooh, now I gotta actually look up some demon types. Give me a sec. It's gonna be a higher level demon. Essentially. Hey Rick, we found <laughs> you some real estate. And you real estate. and as I've said many times before, you know that you can't resurrect demons and devils because they're not humanoids. And you have to keep reminding him or else he's gonna keep trying. Hmm. But I don't want to move those dead bones, bones, bones. Great, I'm gonna have that stuck in my head. The secret will keep you alive. I will stab you. You find a giant arm that's actually the length of your your own body, um, that appears to have like a, almost like a crab claw on the end, and you know that's from a Glebrizo demon. They're fairly high level, uh, and dangerous. Thank goodness it's dead. <laughs> They're dead, Dave. They're all dead, Dave. You also find uh, a skull of a Goristo demon, Ooh. which essentially is um, a Minotaur demon, in a way. Big hunched over demons with giant bull horns. So nothing I can add to the collection. Uh, the skull is medium size. In in time in space, it takes up. Like that's how big this skull is. You could practically sit inside it. Are you looking for things smaller? Let's just see if I, anything I could add to our uh, your army, our, our troop. Hmm. A 
Okay, give me an investigation check then. Eighteen. Uh, with an eighteen, uh, you do not find any humanoids, unfortunately. At least not enough left of humanoids for you to animate. But whatever whatever destroyed them, you've noticed that it, like it's all demons. You haven't found any devils here. It's strictly demons. Which is very peculiar for being in hell. Okay, one question. What's a scout? What's a what's a scout? 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 Scout. 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 I don't know, whatever the place is. It's the place of oh, the, the name. scab. Scab, okay. <laughs> the uh yeah. it's called the bleeding citadel, if that's easier for you to remember. Yeah, no, I mean but what it is because you describe it as a very big scalp in the middle of no, I don't know. Oh, uh that picture I sent you guys Discord is pretty much what it looks like. Uh it is ridiculously huge. Uh it's about um it's like Jabba the Hutt's hut, a hut inside of a bloody plane. It's 300 feet high. And as you approach it, you notice that the lower part of it, like at least the lower third of it, is as hard as a rock. Mm -hmm. uh, since with that investigation check, I know this is not what you were investigating, but you do find uh, boot prints. Here and there, Richtofen. Not just demon footprints, but like boot footprints. Rock is gonna come over and just be like, "What did you find?" Someone's been here. Can I tell how recently? With the would it be like survival to see how recent it is. That would be survival. Survival, of which I am actually proficient. Twenty-one. Pretty sure it was in the last twenty-four hours. Um, at least to your guys' relative time, it's hard to tell here. But you, with that survival check, you were able to tell that they clearly went up the scab. Wherever so they were. It is, so it is climbable. Right. Yeah. It looks, it looks it looks fairly difficult. There's two ways you guys could climb up there. Mm -hmm. Um you could either grab one of these chains and climb the chain up there, or you could try to just climb up normally. Is there nowhere we can see that we might be able to get the vehicles up? No, it looks it looks pretty much impossible. Uh, if I've got to pull the vehicle up. W without flipping over the vehicle, anyway. Mm. Rocket just looks at the indentation, how deep it's sunk into the into the the mire, and she's like, "This is like a day old. Someone's either been here or they're still here." Well, considering this place is uh, effectively a fortress. Eh. And this is a boot print, too. Um, how large are the chains? Are they large enough to walk on, or is it just big enough to, to climb? Uh, they're just big enough to climb, I'll say. If everybody wants to, I actually, I last the uh, last night, I actually had a, another little mentorship dream from Vola. I think I have a way to get us up there and relatively not be seen hopefully oh, lulu flies up there and she flies back down and says there's a hole at the top uh, what? how far up was it again scotty i think it was about 300 feet okay and i actually have a way to get us up there but it would burn a pretty high level spell slot <gasps> are you gonna fly i can actually make us all fly I had oh. a I had a pixie friend, and she could use like pixie dust. And as long as her friends had a happy thought, they could fly too. This works kind of like that, but yay! Oh, this sounds like kind of dangerous. If you, Lulu does a little flip. If you negate the need for one person to fly, does that reduce the level of the spell that you need? No, I can sadly. fly myself. Sadly, no, it doesn't add a character. It's the sixth level spell. I got Windwalk. 
I mean, we got biggest chains here. It, they seem safer than like fly, like swim on air. It just seems dangerous. Wait, something about this place looks familiar. As she, uh, as Lulu stares not at the scab, but at the building that seems to be um, being consumed by the scab. I honestly thought you were gonna say she's having a brain blast and stares at the camera. I mean, she kind of is. Rocket just follows her, uh, follows her gaze, and just like, I'm, I'm guessing you've been here before, probably, right? She's she actually doesn't seem to notice what you're saying anything for a, a few moments, and she's like, a hand and then the she's like, I think I have been here before. I think I I think I helped make this. Oh. Interesting aesthetics. Um, I think I think it, she I think she means the actual citadel, not the, the the chains or whatever's holding it down. I just remembered. I can cast more than this. As she boops me in the nose and she casts light, and then it dissipates immediately because she doesn't want to blind you with it. <laughs> you can do more than the your light ability. Yeah. Why can what what is it? I could protect you all from good and evil. That would actually be very helpful here. I could I could heal you. Oh man, I wish I remembered that sooner. <laughs> and I could bless you. Okay, not just when you're, and not just when you're sneezing. Get in touch. Now we have a little bit of a, uh, a little huh? more tool in our arsenal. So, side arsenal. note, I can actually do a little bit of healing with this orb. <gasps> then it can't be that bad. I don't know. I like the I like the shade of blue. I know, it's right? Nice, it is a very matches nice my shade. eyes. Hmm? Uh, the are we still within the the bone yard? I would say you're in the the blood swamp that's at the bottom of this scab. Okay. That that has bone bone yard kind of. You said there was medium. Uh, skeletons or bones? No, I was just saying that skull, the skull alone was medium size. Uh oh. Yeah, there's the recognition. I got Maybe you can. Name. Sorry. I was going to say, I got a good name for this place the Coagulate Mire. Coagulate, Quagmire. <laughs> wow, that is a good name. Right. 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 So, how are we going to get up there? <sighs> I thought you were going to fly. I, I was I mean, gonna say I could I could fly us up there, but it would take a lot of energy. I used to have a lot of friends in the Isgard that could fly. I knew cats that could fly. I knew donkeys that could fly. I knew other elephants that could fly. And we would also technically be clouds, so okay, we'd probably so hug the ceiling for a bit. I don't <laughs> think <laughs> a lightning storm is good for me, so I think I'll fly on my own. Thanks. Lightning storm? What? Lightning storm? What? I am a lightning kobold. You turn me into a cloud, I'm a thunderstorm. But I'm not going to become like a barracuda cloud. Well, just don't get angry. It'll be fine. Or don't get sad. You might rain everywhere. So how high up is this uh, building on top of the scab? Uh, it's, a, it's probably a little bit higher than 300. Even Oof. though becoming clouds will not be like very stealthy since there are no clouds in hell. <laughs> There was there was no one up there. I don't I don't know if there's anyone down in there. Seemed to something seemed to have. Wait a minute, and she like flies up for a, a like a minute or so, and she flies back down. It appears like something dug a hole there. How big is the hole? I mean, what? Pretty big. It's like this big. And she does like a big circle, and it's like a like a ten foot diameter. Can we drive at it? I don't think we can. We yeah. have to get the, them up there. We don't think we can. Do <gasps> can you make the vehicles fly? Checking. Sorry. So Sorry to give you guys can. hope. You can't make the vehicles fly. No, you can't. Oh, it seems fun. naturally produced, Lulu. Like. No, like a lot of claw marks and stuff. It was pretty gross. Bigs in there. Right. I so... don't know, but knowing where we are and how big things are here, I just don't want to come across a. Warm or something. Well, 
if it's going to happen, it's going to happen regardless. I mean, I'm going to shoot at it, but... <laughs> right. So okay. I have a slight suggestion. Ghost Brace Broncos. Um, instead of using your high-level slot, let's try to get up the chain first. Worst case scenario, you cast it before one of us falls and we're good. And we also get up there <sighs> stealthily so you don't have to burn a slot. Rocket just slaps the sides of her head. Oh, I'm such a fool. I have a better idea. I can just, I can just uh, wild shape into an eagle and carry Nyx up. And Nyx, you or, or Victophan, if you have this spell, you can just cast fly and carry and uh, carry koi. Or I can maybe, fly on my own. Um, can Rick or Nyx become eagles too? If they polymorph, then I suppose so. Flying yeah. fools. P polymorph, I totally know the name of the spell. Or I could just polymorph one of you and you could just fly with us. Uh, Rick, do you have fly? No. Okay. Also, there's the problem about, I mean, the skeletons. Or our boys, I mean. Right. I could uh, polymorph one of the skeletons. One of the Which would be rad as fuck. I did it to get off of El Terrell. So you're going to make it a Quetzal again? I can do that. I can fly on my own. I just I just want to reiterate. So I'll fly. You guys figure out how to get up there with whatever spells we got left. You've only got two skeletons, right? Just the two Maritars? Four. Four? Those yeah, two, two and the two Cobalt skeletons. Right, they probably don't weigh much though, so we could just have the um, okay, we could just I could just polymorph. We can disassemble them, put it in the box, and assemble them back. Does it, does it work like that? No, I don't think so. <laughs> They're not from Ikea, but Koi doesn't know anything about anything. Ikea brand skeletons, yeah, you can get a few extra ribs. Ooh, no way to really upcast polymorph. If you want any hints on ideas, maybe an insight check. All right. Insight. Uh, what's your insight? My insight. I don't know. What is insight? Right. Uh, my insight's plus nine. Yeah, well, shit. Do it at advantage because I'm thinking with you. All right. We will <laughs> link. We will link idea thoughts. Mm. Just don't mind the Damn. porn folder. So. Put your heads together and keep it with a headache. Already had that earlier. That's a twenty-eight. Um, there's a plenty of grabbing spots that you guys could just just climb up. You think it will be equally difficult either way if you just climb up or if you go you take the chains because the chains it's more of it's a longer trip, right? But easier hold, you know. But Ooh. do any of you have a grappling hook and rope? don't think does that come with the um dungeoneers pack i it should it should that's very yeah. dungeoneery i've got we one have that, you know, shit ton of rope that we you have. do ha you do have a shit ton of rope have you do rope. have an expert crossbow user maybe oh, they right. could shoot the grapple up there and that could help it wouldn't it wouldn't guarantee but having having something to hold on to besides the scab itself might that give you advantage a, on the check. That was Let's tie the rope to the ballista bolt and have uh, Koi fired up there. From the vehicle? Yeah, yeah. that would work too. Wait, no, it wouldn't. Um, I don't think you have the range on the ballista. No, I, I have more range than the ballista. I have mm -hmm. 400 feet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember a man who used to polymorph himself into a bat and really loved the grappling hooks. Got some damn mm -hmm. bird with him too. I think I heard about this person. I think they live in Water Deep. Uh, sure. No. I no, mean, I, I I think it was a very dark city full of fog, so it may as well be Baldur's Gate. But I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, um, I he always fought the jester. <laughs> some yeah. some old wizard. He thought he was special. He just really liked puzzles and things. <laughs> Oh, don't mind me. What are you guys thinking? Um, so, 
I have a different way that Nyx wants to go up without um, burning the fly spell just yet, and possibly without using the grappling hook. I mean, the grappling hook doesn't to waste if I do it right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Koi, if you want to you know, tie a rope onto your thing, and then we'll add him west up the side of this uh, building. Okay, I'm I'm just going to go meta. If you use the grappling hook, I'm just going to say there's no check needed. Either way, it's going to be, if you're not flying, an athletics check with a certain DC. But with the grappling hook and rope, it would be at advantage. Okay, this is probably going to sound really stupid and weeby, but I want Nyx to Naruto run up the chains. And I will <laughs> roll athletics check for that. If I fall, I'll just cast fly. Okay. Yay! Nice. <laughs> What's everyone else doing? I get to be a stupid let's, weeb. Let's go the, let's go uh, the grapple hook route. Yeah, I'm mountain near it. Okay, so everybody else but Nyx goes at advantage. But I got a 20. everybody needs athletics. I got a 21. False to your death. Fuck off. <clears throat> oh, nice. Uh, athletics? Mm hmm. 17. Take that 19. You guys always do so good on skill checks. So, I, I don't what, do so well. But piss poor on almost everything else. Wait, what did Koi get? Uh, well, I did now. Uh, 24. Okay. Um, all Sorry, of you get there your own certain ways. You get to the top of the scab just fine. No big deal. Nick's even Naruto runs. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's stupid and almost irrelevant, but yay. And uh, the lowest at the skeletons rolled was a 16. I also like the okay. thing that Nix moved at like, I guess it dies to 60 feet. Nix, pretty much it turned it turned into, like, you went to run when you got on the chain, and you took two steps, and then you meet like, ugh. And you, Naruto, quarter speed moved all the way there. <laughs> so it's Aww. not as happy as it's just... <laughs> But you stood on top of the chains. With That's your nice. arms. With your arms behind back. you. Completely off balance. Like, that's most off balance you could ever be. Why well, you gotta ruin my weeb moment, man? <laughs> oh well, at least I made it. Because it's what I do. Uh, that's, so, that's you all get to the top. And as you get to the top, I'm gonna use Rick Defense token, which I haven't used your guys' tokens in forever, uh, for the map. Yes, there's a map to this area. Crazy, right? Oh my and it's God, not just like a. Richtofen... Sorry. Yes, I do. It's nuts. <laughs> It's so old, it's a collector's item now. Yeah. A circular gaping wound near the top of the scab forms a tunnel that descends into Don't talk darkness. Don't avatar like that. Okay. Uh, Lulu just flew up with you guys. I would say she was like, wow, that was a cool run you did. To uh, Nyx. I'm sorry, I was completely distracted. Could you say that again? Lulu was complimenting you on your Naruto run. Thanks. I Nerd. didn't exactly get a chance to... Does anybody else hear that? I Maybe do. Just practice it. I have four ears. What? She has four ears. She has, like, Dumbo ears, and then she's got, like, wing ears, and then she's got wings. What? Exactly. <laughs> You have ear holes, close enough. So, <laughs> as you going to enter, um, it's uh, it's wet, it's fleshy, and it's completely dark in there. Oh, Not no. it. Oh, uh, no. So it's uh, no. You clearly can see now, like this is a three hundred foot tall hill of scab and you can clearly see a bunch of claw marks you're not sure from how many creatures or maybe it was just one and it took a really long ass time but just a bunch of claw marks that seem to have dug a hole into this scab are there any towers anywhere else that we can see that may be possibly a different entrance no All right The entrance is made of flesh? Yeah, uh, scab. I guess that's technically flesh. 
but can you write it down the the word because I really don't know what word is that. You can you can walk down it. Uh, scab, uh, scab is you know when you when you bleed and then the the blood hardens. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I get sorry, it now. sorry, I didn't know that that word. Yeah, I've never heard of, of that word. What is what is that in Spanish? Uh, costra. Costra. Okay, that makes sense. Because yeah. uh, blood coagulates or something, right? Yeah. And anyway, whatever. Uh, this giant dried up blood, <laughs> fleshy hill. Um, and there's a big hole. You all can easily walk down it. There's no, uh, it's not like a, a drop down. Oh, so it's not like a pool of blood. No. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking it was the scab opened up to a pool of blood that led down. But you noticed when you were climbing up that the, uh, the flesh, I'll just say it's flesh from now on to make it easier, uh, was a lot softer up here compared to where it was at the bottom of the hill. It's still forming right so lulu if you could provide us some light i think we should uh, head in okay and she boops herself on the forehead and she's just like a little beacon of light and she she flutters down a little bit i follow suit except oh, with yeah. the booping of the light and things mm -hmm. uh heading down into the scab for those at home the map that you're seeing uh, is not a traditional map where it's from like skyward down, but it's actually the top of the map um, is the top of the scab and it actually goes down. So imagine you're like looking at an ant farm and it's like cut through the side. Mm. It's a very uh, Gross. peculiar map. Mm. So as you head into the next area, you see the scab uh, on one side of this narrow passage is stripped away partially revealing one of the citadel stained glass windows. The opaque blue and yellow panes depict a contemplative face of a beautiful angel. That'd be right at, beautiful if it wasn't scabbed over. It's not. I'll look at, I'll look at uh, Lulu yeah. and see if there's any recognition on her face. She looks at it and she looks kind of sad. I take it this was Zariel. Mm-hmm. Just gonna reach up and sort of just pat her on her little glowing head, just like I'm gonna find her. I'm gonna fix this. This was the Zariel I knew. She's gone now, though, replaced by her new form with a halo of fire and vengeance. I'll figure this, it out. This window remind rem the last thing she said to me is, "This is who I am." When demons die, they cry out my name in terror. I honestly thought that was going to turn into the, the lyrics from a rock song. Well, let's keep going. I'm sure her sword's down here somewhere, as Lulu seems to naturally just, like, stop herself from getting too sad and just immediately get becomes happy again and starts flying down with you guys. Right. Ooh, I jump up on the railings and slide down. Um... You, no. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, or not. There's no railings here. It's hell. Hell doesn't have railings. There's hell no doesn't fun have here. OSHA. Yeah. I mean, I could fly down, honestly, just jump down the center of the stair stairwell and go, wee. But I won't. Uh, so from now on, here's some things about this, uh, about this area to keep in mind the whole time you're in the scab. Um, one. There's no light sources down here besides the ones you bring. Uh, two, all of the all of the tunnels and chambers down here look like they've been clawed up, or sometimes they look like they've been chewn, like with teeth, to make these uh, tunnels and chambers. And there are a bunch of pools of blood sitting around in random spots. Um, and they're t and the tunnels are ten feet wide, unless stated otherwise. And lastly, Miss Frizzle's bus is nowhere to be found. Oh my goodness. Miss Frizzle would not want to take them on this field trip. Oh no. Miss Frizzle took them through what was Redhead's name? The Arnold. Weasley? Arnold? Oh, took they, him through Arnold's? They took him through Arnold's scab, yeah. They, yeah. 
<laughs> so that's not that's not the scab of a plane, a lower plane. <laughs> but it would not surprise me if Miss Frizzle may have bypassed this on the way too. Okay. In in before you you before have there's... you heard of the the Miss Frizzle or yeah. Magic School Bus at all? That might be a American like '90s thing. I mean, probably yes. I just don't know it. Yeah, it, it's so uh, peculiar how different countries will name things. Like they'll name it something completely different. Like you're, you're, I, I forget what Iron Man was called in China, but it was not Iron or Man. Um, it was like Zoom Explode Mech or something, and you're like, what? Um, U.S. You are a Doctor Who fan, right? At least somewhat. Yeah, at least the first nine seasons. Okay, so basically, this was an Americanized cartoon where the bus was basically their TARDIS, and Miss Frizzle was the Time Lord. If that, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I guess I can. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we got we. So the direct translation from for the show in Spain, it would be like uh, Adventures on Wheels. So yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's fairly accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I was gonna say, in before Miss Frizzle and the Magic School Bus are in the retroverse somehow in the future. Yeah, oh, I'm sure they are. Uh, but yeah, so okay. you head further down. Actually, do you head further down? Since you have the light switch, you can clearly see that um, up ahead there are three different ways you can go as you go into where it turns almost to like a cave system, where there seems to be. Uh, a narrow pathway, narrow tunnel that leads up above. There's one that leads down below, but then there's like this big hole where it leads even further down below. Oh, no. So you have three different choices. Oh, I'm flashbacks. Getting of, I flashbacks of the forest. I want to. I want to see if I can find those footprints from earlier. Uh, okay. Give me a survival check at disadvantage, just because this area is kind of nuts. It's got a pool of blood everywhere and your only light source is Lulu. While Rock is checking that, I would like to ask Lulu if she has any orientation from our current position. What do you mean? Do you know where we are at this point in time? Coming in from the top, down the stairs. I believe we're still in Avernus. Right. I mean, we are looking for the sword. You asked. I can... Sure. I can I can feel some kind of celestial presence down here. So I'm sure the entranceway to this, I think the Citadel is holding it. I think we need to find our way to the door. Right. Braca, do you find anything? I got a 16 on my survival. You do find footprints, but you can't really figure out where they went. It'd be safe to assume further down though. Right. Just right. If, if they're going for, towards like which of the doors. Oh, there's what? no there's no doors yet. It's just I mean, tunnels. Doors. Which tunnel? Which tunnel? You, you know what I meant. Right. So, this is L. I think we should take the door, the tunnel that leads down. Okay, be careful yeah. where you step. Though. Yes. Oh, wait. I have an idea. Uh, Koi, let me see the, your crossbow real quick. Why? Light source. I'm gonna give you a flashlight at the end of it. Okay, that's cool. I poke the end of the, the very end that points away from the bowl, the bow with uh, just a little claw and use the light. The little, what about the little there's bowl a, thing in the, there's the a, handle? There's, there's a, grip, yeah, yeah, I was about to say, there's a grip on the end of most crossbows so you can sturdy it when you reload and stuff. Yeah. Like a foot, it's like a foothold or something like that. It's for the foot, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah. So, boop, you have a light source on your crossbow now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you, so you had... The one that goes down the most. Yes, yeah, one I had. Yes. I assume you all stay together. I would hope the rest yes, of them would follow. Never split the party. Unless Let's split up and find clues, gang. We are not. Never mind. You Talk hear you hear uh, random whispers in the the fairly still air in here. Some of them uh, you hear almost like animalistic. Uh, squeals of pain. Every once in a while, you hear like a, a like a bang noise, but it sounds away in the distance. It seems to echo upwards through this these tunnels. 
Right. So I think we should start doing stealth. Oh, Braca, since you were you were trying to track these footprints, you do find a peculiar item next to one of these footprints. It appears to be a small kind of cylinder where it has a um, like the other end is opened up, and it appears to have like this weird um, paper like mesh that seems to have like opened itself up like a Christmas. Uh, thing you know you know what i'm talking about and then on the other end it's like this brass uh end on the cylinder it's kind of weird so, like a it, christmas it has, cracker it has a very odd smell to it as well brass gonna pick it off sort of snip it give me a history check or nature check and a talking, wisdom save are you talking about like a christmas cracker yes that's what i meant uh, I, I was like i was like christmas i couldn't remember what it was called For those that don't know, Christmas crackers are these little uh, paper paper things that look like candies, and you pull them apart, and they pop open. Just a straight nature check? Uh, nature or history, yeah. All right, so it was a 15. Uh, it smells like the very illegal substance in Torel called smoke powder, which in our world is black powder. This is. I don't know why they call it smoke powder, but they do. This is someone... This is a smoke. This is something that whatever was in this was smoke powder. Uh, insight check on what that could have been used for, or investigation. Uh, don't be just an intelligence check, actually. Oh, well, lovely. It's not that great, but a dirty twenty will work. Maybe, maybe the because because smoke powder is an explosive. Maybe, maybe whatever that is is some kind of magic item. That like explodes and does damage or something. It, it's TNT. It's it's dynamite. Great. Now I've got that stupid song stuck in my head. TNT. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. I'm asking the party this time because I realize I've basically been just yanking on the chain. Um, are we going down the the lower part? lower level the, the downest yeah <laughs> after there was like a slight pause after you said like the tnt dynamite thing in the very distance you thought you heard like maybe growling or something it was like just in the distance did the ground like move at all or the flesh of the, the ground ground itself does seem to move on its own but it's very slight and it's only if you really focus on it which of course you guys don't immediately when you realize that it was like whenever that noise happened, did we feel like it sort of jiggled beneath our feet or something? It, it doesn't seem tied to that. Mm. Right. So, get just make so your gross. Boots I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is deeper down the bloody hole. This is this is a really creative idea. I really like this area. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I I just watched yesterday both the thing and the thing from 2011, and I'm just yeah, nice. I'm sorry you had to watch the 2011 version, but <laughs> I didn't mind it that much. I, I just found it weird that the effects looked worse. Yeah, that's absolutely true. But I already knew when I was getting into, I guess. True. Sure. So expectations were low. Uh, I have to with that kind of movie. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to focus again. So you guys head yeah. further down, and you notice that this tunnel goes downhill, but then there's like a sudden hole where, like, let's say you're going down this way. You can keep going this way, but then there's like a small tunnel that also goes this way. It's like a hole where you'd have to like bend that way. It's very uh, narrow, but you guys could fit through it. Perception check. Where did the Irish come from? Perception check for... It's that weak. Mm -hmm. Sure enough. <laughs> At least when we were recording. Yeah, I'll do a listen to. What? Wait, what? You were doing a perception check? Oh, yeah. No, I was going to look at the... Uh the ground not not listen what are you what are you looking for um if there's any footsteps doubling back if there's se separate sets if there was oh. only one set that went down oh that would go into tracking that'd be a survival check oh. right okay um i'll, I'll assist because i'm looking trying to find those tracks too i think i should assist you because my survival is not proficient it's, it's only a three okay so this is with advantage let's go with that. Ooh, 
perception check on the walls to see if there's any handprints. It's a 21 for survival. Sorry. Um, it looks like um, whoever this was or whatever this is, with the footprints, didn't go down the super narrow spot. They just kept going. Though you do notice when you were you're tracking and because you were really looking for stuff with your perception check, um, in the narrow crevice way, you do find a weird-looking goat demon corpse. The upper half of it is all that's left of it, as um, it's it's just sitting there, and its claws seem to have like innately just stuck into the flesh. And if the claws weren't in it, it would probably fall down further into that narrow tunnel. Okay, not going down that hole. Its head, it looks like... Um, some kind of blade went straight through its head. Back out. Def- definitely not going through that hole. I mean, because of that doesn't doesn't mean it's down there. It may be uh, you could you it could have died from up here and just does it look like with the, with the survival path? check you're able to put that together that it looks like it died up here and fell in. Oh, okay. Does it look like the um the lower half was ripped off or like it just like tore off from weight from gravity or something you can't see from up here you would have to actually oh. go down and look closer don't worry Braga. probably something just ate it for, for those at home you can see the little grid in the background on these tunnels keep in mind each one of those squares is 10 feet so these are actually a lot bigger than they appear on the map right so uh gonna keep on I'll give you guys the map after this session, probably. I'm going to keep going down the other hallway. Okay. Bigger hallway. Um, Hoping that uh, Koi's light is still projecting over Nyx's head. Yeah. yeah. Okay, just making sure. (laughs) You head into this cavern, and in here you see uh, what is a bloodbath in quite the literal sense just a dead end and it's a big cave way. Um, the ceiling is above your light source. You can't see the ceiling with light. Uh, so it's over 20 feet up as this room really widened. And there's just this big pool of blood in here. And in here you just see corpses of demons. So does anybody have a 10 foot pole? Some of them looks like somehow like a hole got blown into their torso. Some of them have been cut completely in half vertically. Uh, do you have that? Do you want to know, uh, Nix? Do you want to know how deep that is? I guess. Right. I don't think uh, we should touch that blood, says Lulu worryingly. Yeah. Oh. Is just going to well, I, I wasn't going to touch it. I mean, I don't have a pole, but I have a hunting trap. We can tie it to the rope and throw it, see it's if, how far it sinks. Oh, man. Are we going to have to play Corp Scotch? I, I like your thinking. This is very second edition kind of thinking. I love it. So you do that? If... Uh, I don't have a rope, actually. <laughs> if Nick's not... You all have enough rope. I can just say yeah. you just have it. Just don't yeah, worry I about it. I still have my dungeon area. <laughs> yeah, thing. I do However, that. Like, I, I put the hunting trap and throw it like an anchor and see how... I deep strongly... The... Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> I strong. Let me do it in, in Nix's voice. I strongly recommend we take cover before you throw it. There's no cover. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> it lands in there and it makes a disgusting squish sound. Blood splashes up, ripples, and uh, you can see that the hunting trap maybe went down five feet. It's not that no. deep. <laughs> it's over my bloody head. If you go in there, it will be a bloody head. You get it? Or, or worse, Rocket just holds up her hands and you just like, remember? You get back your, your completely blood-stained um, hunting trap. And, Koi, I need a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. Am I good at those? I'm pretty sure I'm not, because I'm a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Can't I just press to digitate the blood away? <laughs> Well, that's a 15. Uh, okay. I kind of decent. Uh, think like 80s Splatterhouse kind of movie. Levels of like scene here. So like you got very red looking 
hunting trap as you go to pull it out. It's gross. So yeah, Nyx reaches up and just kind of points at it, press to digitate all the blood, and everything's gone. Okay. Clean as oh. can be. Good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That was kind of gross, Nate. Not gonna lie. Yeah. But now we know it's five feet deep. Is it important for us for something, Nyx? Say again. I mean, did, did you want to know how deep it was for something? Yeah, so I didn't have to drown. Oh, are you planning on swimming on it? No, it wasn't the plan. I was just planning on hopping it. from body to body. Just looking at what? it, does this look like the stuff that got Braco's hands all gibbed up that one time? Uh, no. In fact, that's probably the weirdest thing that you mentioned that. That's when you notice... None of these demon corpses have turned to Icar. They're still here. Whatever killed them, killed them outright. They didn't go back to the abyss. All right. So I need to test something. Is there a corpse close to the platform? Yes. <laughs> mm, uh... Fair enough. i um, going to carefully, gently place a little bit of weight on the body to see if Nyx can stand on the body without it sinking. Nyx? Give me a second. Uh, it sinks a little bit because the, the tunnel's made of flesh. So the body does sink in the blood pool. Oh, wait, you're gonna... Um, As if I yeah, was stepping yeah. from corpse it's to just, corpse. It, it, like normal corpses... It's going to go right into the water the second you step on it, or the blood. I mean, okay, so it does sink as I gently put a little weight on it, so I can't, mm -hmm. I know for a fact that I can't stand on it. No, and, and this is very clearly a dead end. There's like nothing else here. It seems like all the blood uh, from going downhill actually just seemed to pool here, because this was the lowest spot. Oh. Yeah, time oh. to go back up then. I mean, we can still go down to the half demon corpse. Well, there's also the other two tunnels up top. But we know we have to go down. But one of the ones that leads up doesn't necessarily continue that way. It's All right, while well, we're still here, can we have Lulu fly across and see if there's anything on the other side? Yeah, she flies across, and you can Lulu. clearly see it's um, there's nothing else in here. And we're back out. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. Do, 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 do. So, were you going to go down where the, the demon goat corpse was, or are you going to go all the way back up to where the, the glass stained window was and go those other routes? I'm not shimmying through there. I'm not shimmying through there. Don't think that would be wise. There didn't seem, there didn't seem to be anything in there, did, did it? So, Nothing Nick. I can see with my dark vision? Uh, it looked like it went much further down from there. So, like, like the goat upper hat, his the corpse was like at the top of it. So I chose poorly, and we ended up in the dead end. Koi, you choose. Where are we going this time? Uh, I'm. I have a, like a lower enough wisdom to know that it's not wise to uh, follow me. So I will say. Braca, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> would it just be like sort of an, in, an intuition or like a survival or whatever? Which role would it be to just figure, just sort of guesstimate? Uh, I guess this will be a uh, insight check. Twenty-one. Um, you think going either way is going to lead you down regardless and you do need to go down because that's where the base of the citadel is where the door would be right. um, can I poke the demon goat so it falls on the thing yeah sure wait, I want to do that to wait. see how do you have a 10 foot pole not at all Okay. Lulu, Lulu, light him, then push him. Okay. Light, light him. Use light, and then push him down. 
Do I really have to touch a demon corpse? No, you can just you can use my bolt to poke it. Okay. She goes doop onto your bolt. You fire it. I'm not gonna have you roll for it. And then you push the corpse down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you push the corpse down. It goes, and um, you realize that it actually like bounces off the walls and stuff. And it looked fairly narrow, but you guys are pretty sure that if you climb down, you wouldn't be like squeezing your way down. Squishy pachinko. <laughs> but as it lands down at the bottom, you hear like buzzing noises. Oh. Like bzz, bzz, bzz. Nope, 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 nope. Flies. Uh, sounds like a big buzzing or regular buzzing? Like regular buzzing. <laughs> okay. That does not sound like a good time. Yeah. Rocket just we... immediately puts her arms on, just scoots everyone back. No, 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 no. Blasts are bad enough on the, on the material plane. I bet here they're worse. Let's go. Wait a minute. Let's Did go. we come across some like blood mosquitoes? Sturges. You did run into Sturges and uh, one Hell Wasp, I think. Yeah. Well, but that, that... It, this does not sound like a Hell Wasp. A Hell Wasp has a much lower drone kind of noise to its fly. Does it sound like Sturges? No, it's, like it's just sound, it just sounds like a, like a swamp, you know, with like flies everywhere. Okay. Didn't right. want to so... anger the hive. <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, Rock, I mean, we know a lot of them. Yeah. Of things, no. Right. <laughs> Some of the things we may not want to know. I think either we know path, them. either path is going to lead us down, and down is where we need to go. All right. So, Richtofen. I'm going yeah. to the right. Down. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So, uh, do you? Do you head down where the where you push down the goat corpse or the other one? Other one. Okay. No, we backtracked to the other two tunnels and then we're going down. I'm assuming you meant the one that went down, the, the one that went straight, not the one that went up. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you head that way, and you head that way for about a hundred feet as it's a very rough, awkward tunnel that constantly goes downhill the whole way, but eventually it it comes to an opening. Um, where with your light cantrip spells, you cannot see the floor below. It just seems like you went down the tunnel and then you got to an edge. You hear buzzing, but it sounds like it's like, this is a weird orientation, but like, like it's underneath you and behind you, the buzzing noises. Right, so I'm gonna, damn it, there I go again. I'm gonna take a stick Mm-hmm. Out, just out of one of my pockets. I'm going to cast light on it. You find a bone, you find a tiny bone of a demon. Okay, that works. And I throw the glow stick of light right over the edge. As you drop it down, you notice that it, uh, it lands with a, like a, I can't make a squish sound, but like a tiny little squish noise. And, um, you see that their ground is maybe 25 feet. Does it look anything like the chamber we were just at? No. It appears to be a much longer and wider tunnel than the one you you were in. Lulu, go long! But I'm short. She fly around the chamber, please. She flies down there. We roll initiative. <sighs> I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! And she's like, okay, I'll take a look. Ew, there's bugs down here. Roll initiative. <laughs> 16. Ooh, okay. 22. Wow. If only Lulu was that lucky. <laughs> I didn't mean to. What did Nick get? I meant for her to fly forward, not down. 20. Dirty 20. What did Richtofen get? 17. Okay, and what she's up against. Of course they rolled good. Alright, she got she's last with a three. Um so next, you're first, as you hear angry buzzing noises, and she's uh, like, ah, yeah. Pff, pff, pff. Lovely. Isn't Braca first? Wait, Braca is first. 
every time. Every time. Every bloody time. I'm actually going to move Braca to the upper part of my list because that line is shorter than the others, and I think it just blends in with my peripheral, which is why I keep missing it. I'm sorry, Braca. So how far uh, ahead was the stuff that Lulu is up against? You're not sure. You just heard her fly back there and go, ah! How, many, and, how far? And how the far drop down is 25 feet. Across, like, Lulu went ahead, not down? She went down and then yes. was going to check out the tunnel. So the drop I meant down for is her. 20, 25 feet? It would be a 25-foot drop because, like, you were going this tunnel and then there was just a drop into the tunnel below. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, looking at my options here, not very good. I did not want to prepare for this. Um, because because of what the surface of this place is, um, I would allow you to do like an acrobatics or athletics check, and if you make it, I'll say you don't take full damage, just because the ground will be so soft. Right. This is flush. I'll do I'll do athletics. Okay. Acrobatics. We could all. Yes. So we, could, we could all jump. I could use Featherfall. That was a 14. Okay. Uh, as you say that, Rictifin, Brock jumps down. Um. Brock goes, <laughs> you, land, you land down there, and that was your move. So um, you turn around, and with your dark vision, you can just barely make out. Oh, no, no. Lulu casts light on herself. You see um, Lulu and just a bunch of flies. They're just surrounding her everywhere. And they seem to be just biting at her and stuff. You still have your action and your bonus action. All right. Um, She's maybe 20 feet away. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is last. As you hear angry buzzing of all these flies. Flies biting? I don't know. They could be horse flies. Those things are mean. I'm... I'm gonna keep this. It'll, it'll be nice to have for an hour. I'm going to do another, um, like from last session, a little conjure elemental uh, right next to Lulu. I'm going to call up a, a wind elemental, an air elemental. Okay. The rest of you, the rest of you feel a draft from the hole in the scab, as whoosh, the wind yeah. brings in the wind elemental. And I think it goes immediately after my turn or from reading the spell, right? I have to I, roll initiative for it. It, it it goes immediately after you. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell it to just just get rid of the flies. Okay, that's my that's my turn. And air wind elemental air elementals are there. Stats for this issue. Elemental has. Or as I like to call it, the air elemental. I like it. So they, one inspiration the, point. Are the flies in Lulu's space or just around Lulu? Oh yeah, they're they're all up in her space. Okay, so I can't I can't uh, attack these things, but I could. Um... I technically yes, you can attack them, but would, they are they're a be... swarm, and swarms can be in the same spot. Right, but the, would, would it be hitting Lulu if the elemental attacked them? Uh, unless the attack is a uh, AOE, then no. Okay. Right, so it's going to do two slam attacks on on these uh, these bugs. Okay. Eighteen for the first. That hits. And thirteen for the second. That also hits. All right, and that is two d eight bludgeoning two d eight plus five bludgeoning damage. So that's 13 bludgeoning damage. Okay. That's pretty good. Mm. Let me... Uh, a good chunk of the flies get just... The wind blows into them forcefully, and they get smacked into the wall, splattering. Nice. Wait, but there's a, but there's uh, plenty left. Wait. Plenty, plenty left, just as it is Nyx's turn. Just gonna shout. We got a little pest control problem down here. No, I'll pull up Lulu's token. Mm. Boop. No, she's not down there. She's over here. There we go. Good. Mm -hmm. Right. So, 
Mix is going to hold up the orb. Say, right, I knew this was going to come in handy. Oh, and no. <laughs> casts Death Ward on Lulu. Does the, do they have to be with invisibility? Because you can't see her right now. Uh, do no, I believe it's it, a touch spell. No, but with a sorcery spell, I can turn that touch into a thirty foot radius or thirty foot length. She's not close enough. She, you said it was twenty five feet down. No, it she's twenty five feet away from Baraka, who went down there. Oh mm-hmm. shit. Um. Okay. Give me a minute. Uh, if you use your move for the athletics or acrobatics, you can be down there and then be in range. If I use my move, that would kind of defeat one of the purposes. Um, okay, so in that case, I shall do something different. One moment. Fireball. I don't have fireball. Lulu's like, it's okay, take your time. Ow, ow, stop it. Thanks. Make me feel horrible about not being able to remember all the dozens of spells that I have. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Um, okay, so yeah, instead of that, I'm going to cast Synaptic Static around Lulu. And by around, I mean using a sorcery point to bend the spell to it where it doesn't hurt her. Okay, so... Does that hit multiple targets? Can I hit my elemental? Um, Which well, you, wouldn't using, know, you wouldn't know it's there. But using that that meta magic, um, the people that would be in range, the meta magic would make it so it doesn't hit allies. Okay. So to do yeah, each creature in a twenty foot radius sphere centered on Lulu uh, must make an intelligence saving throw. Okay, they fail. They're bugs. Eight d six. Do they need a certain intelligence? Oh, shoot. Um, score of two or lower can't be affected by this. Okay, nothing happens. I'm guessing I wouldn't be able to retcon that. No, sorry. Does it hurt my elemental? Nope. Okay. <laughs> you still have your move and your bonus action. All right. But at least uh, now you uh, know for sure they aren't demon bugs, because demons would be smarter. Usually. Well, I may as well burn the second one. Um, no, if I can't can't cast the second fifth level spell. Wonderful. Thanks, oh. Scotty. Uh, what else can this do? Well, I can't do anything because I've already cast a spell. So then, yeah. Um, I'm just kind of stuck there, stunned that my spell just fizzled. Thanks, Scotty. They have one intelligence. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, that's my turn. And just enough to stay alive. Uh, okay, uh, after Nyx is Rictifit. No, actually, it's the bug's turns. So, um, most of the bugs start biting at Lulu. But some of them... Um, you see fly off into the back and some even more so fly up to Braca oh, as they yeah, go to swarm you. So I'll do Braca first. Does a 12 hit? It does not. Okay. Now we lose. Both, both don't get through her uh, celestial fur, I guess. Mm-hmm. And that's their turns. Uh, after them, then it is Rick Defense turn. Rick Defense, as you poke your head down, you see Braca is being attacked by a bunch of very aggressive flies. I would say they're horse flies. I think if there's any breed of flies that would be in hell, it would be horse flies. Go to hell. They already are. Uh, so from where we are, how far is Braca? Uh, Brock is 25 feet down, right below you. All right. Then I have four skeletons and I will jump down. All right. I'll cast Featherfall. Okay. And uh, have them move in to attack. Featherfall lasts till the beginning of your next turn, right? Uh, wait a minute. 
Choose up to five falling creatures in range. Falling creatures rate is in its lowest to six. Oh, five willing creatures. So it could only be you and your skeletons. Yep. Okay. Whoop. You're down. Uh, then I'd have them move into a uh, melee. Okay. They all do their claws. Slash <laughs> great axes. Just from the flat of it. Definitely, definitely do one at a time because they're probably going to get rid of all these flies in one hit. Okay. Uh, 18. 18 hits. What is the H HP on these things? Is it even worth rolling? It, yeah, it is. Okay. Six. Six damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, definitely definitely still there attacking Braca. Ah, next one. Fourteen. Hits. Another six. Got most of them, at least, but they're still there. Oh, uh, Maritar rode a nat 20. Hey! 24 total. 24 damage? No, uh, I haven't rolled the damage yet. Oh. Well, nat, nat, plus four. nat 20s are automatic hit regardless. Hmm. Um, so roll me a d100. 78. Okay. For those at home, Xanathar's last notes say everything else available in the DM's Guild. has a nice crit chart on it. And you're 78. <laughs> you don't need to roll damage, because the Murotar does max damage <laughs> to this swarm that had 10 hit points left. So, uh, Baraka, with one... F well, there's a tiny swoop... <laughs> And then a giant swoop of a large size great axe. No flies. Somehow you weren't even touched. But you have a uh, clean shaven. <laughs> Essentially. And then. Um, I'm to make sure it's still there. Her hair's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Okay. And then about 25 feet away, since you're now on the ground, um, is Lulu. With more flies. Alright, so the other Mero Tar will move in within range to uh, get Lulu. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, 23. 23 hits. 20. Alright. Still some flies around her. There were a lot of flies down here. Uh, since uh, Featherfall is a reaction, would I be able to still cast something? No, you can only cast one spell per round unless it's a spell of a slot level or a cantrip. Or and a cantrip. I mean, you didn't use it as a reaction though because you cast it to jump down. Right? Yeah. Well, jump down, then while you're falling, cast it so it reduces oh, the oh, okay. reaction. Yeah, okay, okay. So I can use a cantrip? You can use a cantrip. Yes. That's that's a bonus action? I oh, know, that's an action, yeah. Yeah, you can you can use a cantrip. Well, you know, it worked for Nick, so infestation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Is that a roll to hit for you? Or is that a con save for me, I think? Uh, con save. Okay. Bug on the violence. Uh, what's, I mean, does a 15 pass? Your spell save? Save it? No. Okay, then roll your damage. 1d6, okay. Two, because it's a country, right? Yes. Actually... Or three. three. It's 3d6 now, because you guys are 11th level. Uh oh. Yeah, cantrips get better as you level up. And then 12. You get, uh, your infestation gets rid of most of what's left that's on Lulu. 
And she's like, mm -hmm. thank you for summoning the nicer flies. You're welcome. It's bug wars. <laughs> I'm helping and I'm done. Koi. I changed my accent. I will jump down. All right. Acrobatics sure. or athletics? Acrobatics, definitely. Thirteen. Okay. Squish. You land. No damage. Um. You can. I you would... can see. Uh, there's a few flies still in Lulu. Twenty-five feet away. Can I will shoot at them. Can I shoot at the flies? Yes. Because the mechanics. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, I now I think about it. Uh, those of you with dark vision actually see further back, about 30 feet back past Lulu, because your dark vision goes out 60 feet. Um, that corpse, uh, the goat demon thing, uh, one of the swarms seem to have gone over to the corpse and they're like eating it. Oh, it's the same. Did we need that knowledge? Well, I guess we found out where we're at. Hmm. We know where, where that led now. Um, actually, I will cast Wall of Water just because it makes more sense to try and. I mean, since it's like. Uh, how thick is that thing? Five feet, maybe? One foot thick and 20 feet. Uh, 10 feet high, 20 feet what? wide. 30 feet long, 10 feet high, five foot uh, thick. I will try to get all the flies inside the wall of water. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, all of them are in the water. That The ones that were around the Lulu. And. I'm assuming. Oh, still 10 minutes, they will die of suffocation. I mean. Uh, Event, this doesn't have mechanics for that because it's not used for that. The wall of water, but they well drowning it it takes quite a while, but potentially yeah. But right now they're all stuck in there. It definitely limits their movement greatly. They can't fly in water. Um, I mean yeah, that's my action. All right, uh, after Koi. Hey, guess what? It's Lulu's turn, finally! <laughs> With her whopping three. Uh, she will attack them in the ones that are in the water, I guess. Uh, somehow attacking them with her tusks. Uh, does she miss? I swear. She misses. Yeah, she somehow misses. Okay, cool. I mean, the, the place cannot dodge, though. Yeah, she pretty much just splashes into the wall of water. <laughs> As she tries to hit them with her tusks. To no avail. Uh, after Lulu, it's back to Baraka. All right. Just going to do the same thing as before. Have the... Uh, oh, I'm, it's my turn with the elementals. Uh, the elemental go on your turn? At, at the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. You I'm can freeze the water. I don't have that ability. I'm if only someone had Ice Knife. Only, I mean, if you hit it with uh, ice damage, it it, fro it freezes the wall. <laughs> if only, if only some, if I only had shape water, um, I'm going to just uh, I can control the shape of water. I'm going to just hit it with my with my shillelagh crossbow as a bonus action. Bonus action, just shillelagh, and then just smack it the cross the. Why did I say crossbow? That's your thing. Quarter staff. And I want my brain is out today. I wish you could shillelagh crossbow. <laughs> I would play a dream then. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing saying you can't. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. There's, there's nothing saying you can't. Actually, no. Specifically, there is a thing that literally says I can't. Yeah. Okay, so, it, it's only quarter staffs and clubs. It does so specify. Is so that the 28? Uh, 28 definitely hits these flies that are With an drowning in the water a little bit. With an AC of what? Three, maybe? Well, it was higher than nine, which is what Lulu got. Uh, that's only seven damage. It's enough. Uh -huh. 
They stop wiggling in the water. Fuck. Do you guys want to deal with the ones that are on the, the demon corpse or just leave them? Yeah, uh, because I wanted to do something productive, and this was far before any of you said this. Nick uses the orb to cast Ice Knife on that last group. <laughs> okay. Roll to hit. Roll to hit. I'll just, have the, I'll just have the elemental just hang back. Oh, yeah. I was about to say the... So, elemental's just going to dodge action, I guess? Yeah, I'll just dodge action. Uh, 24 to hit. All right. Uh, somehow this knife hits the swarm. Well, the piercing yeah. is impressive. I, I nail at least one, <laughs> one fly, and yeah. the knife is like, tink, <laughs> it's a one fly. But it's the explosion that's the point. Mm -hmm. So, oh, wait, that's 1d10 for the piercing, which is going to be 8 piercing. Okay, and it already failed its deck save. Lovely. So then that is how many d6? Is it 3d6? 2d6. 2d6. That's correct. 2d6. Eleven. So close. Um, whatever weren't killed by the knife of ice exploded into the cold and then just fell to the ground and shattered. And you have used up your use till the next time. Say again. You have used up your ice knife from the orb, if that's what you used. Right. Until when? The next dawn, aka next long rest. Next dawn. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't hear that part. I wasn't sure what you said. Okay. No, that, that, that works. That works. There's a uh, victory fanfare. You all do your little victory animations, and all the flies are dead. Yay. We <laughs> killed bugs. Okay. Lou is like, there were bugs in here. See anything else? Uh... So circle around the room, please. There are m multiple mutilated devil corpses and gnawed bones in here. A hole in the floor reveals another dark cavern below. Does... Uh... Should we investigate and see if the corpses have anything on them? You think, guys? Do you want to put your hands in their pockets? Carefully. They might have some stuff we could use. Use the stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to fuck them with, like, turn them over with the staff and just sort of just, like, see if there's anything I can find on them. The best I forget this. Skeletons, raid them. Uh, on close examination, you notice that these mutilated corpses are that of three bearded devils, two barbed devils, and a bone devil. All of them are torn to pieces and in some cases partially eaten. Oh dear. Except for the goat one, way in the, in, that's past the hole that goes further down. That was the, the corpse that you guys knocked down initially. One that's now frozen. Yes. Um... Looks at the group. We think we should should we try the other one or just go down this hole? <laughs> Nix grabs another bone from their place up on the stairs where they haven't left yet, uses light and chucks it down the new hole. Uh, chucking it down there, you see it seems to open up into multiple pathways. Oh, great! More Let's tunnels. Go down. Go down the other one. we can. All right. So you head downwards. And I'll give you uh, three options. You can, as you land down here, you can either go the tunnel straight ahead, the tunnel straight behind you, or the tunnel that goes further down. Do any of these tunnels have any of the markings of multiple demons or deities marking the different corridors that may lead down somewhere? I'm getting a major flashback from Baldur's Gate. Um, all of the tunnels seem to be just bunch of teeth and claw marks all over everywhere. That's a constant in here. You're missing the deja vu comment, but yeah, okay. I want to just try and survive for any, for any of those footprints we saw. Uh, What'd you get? 22. No trace. 
Uh, instead of going deeper and deeper into the unknown, uh, why don't we try to, you know, just go this back alley that seems pretty be pretty neat level. I hate to say it, but we should go deeper. From what we know, the sword should be at the bottom. Look over at Lulu to see if that's right. Uh, we have been getting closer, from what I can sense. All right. It sounds like a good plan. Next. Deeper into madness. Wait, wait, wait. I have a great idea. Oh. Lulu, come here. OK. I should, do, I should do this at least once a day. I gently uh, touch the orb of uh, the dragon orb to Lulu's head and cast Death Ward, which lasts for eight freaking hours. She explodes. No, I'm kidding. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Jesus. <laughs> First, I send her into a goddamn swarm and then I detonate her? It's a ward of death. <laughs> I was going to say, I was, I was going to say, just, just it would make some some level of sense a lawful good creature getting touched by an artifact of an evil of an evil deity, <laughs> but no. So from now on, unless explicitly stated otherwise, I will gratefully use one charge of Death Sword on Lulu specifically each morning. She goes, yes. oh, thank you, Nix. And then uh, as she says that, you gain the effects of the Bless spell. She casts Bless on you. Aww. Aww. Let's see, how many times can she do that? Hopefully forever. Anyway, so we're heading further down. <laughs> Up to a minute. I was going to have her scout. Just a quick in and out of the tunnels that may lead to anything... Slightly interesting, a different cave formation, different paths, just so we can get a quick idea of what we're looking for and then have her come back. That way, if she does face plant directly into another set of, of insects, she's at least protected from death for a while and we get some recon going. She actually didn't take any damage from those bugs, now that I think about it. Oh, we got there faster. Yeah. They just harassed her more than anything. Okay. And she um, zips down the, the the tunnel that goes furthest down. A minute goes by. Does she come back? Uh, not after a minute. <sighs> well, Let's go was... find her. Yep, that was my idea. I'll go first. Shove. You pray. Mm. Yeah, I, I chase after her. If it takes a minute, I'm I'm running. I'm I'm going after her. Somebody roll me a D10. Okay, since I'm running. Can someone else roll it? No. Uh, six. Okay. Um. Pull it up. Whatever it is, I apologize for having Lulu go face first into it again. <laughs> I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm not trying to get her killed. Well, that's what happens when she has to scout ahead alone. But she's the only one that can scout. You we do realize scout. she's our ally, right? I told you, it's not my intent. She's the only one that she can that can scout because she's the only one expendable. I mean, useful. She I mean, flies faster Scotty, than I'm, anybody else can. <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm being a jerk. Okay, Scotty, so out of, out of can we just give her a red allowed? shirt? Were we allowing that one uh, variant rule that lets me expend the use of wild shape to summon find familiar to use find familiar? Uh, I I don't think so. No. Okay. I Sorry. Was say if, if we were using that, then I would have been using it a lot more often. <laughs> but, and yeah. and I just realized that this map, the edges of it, actually uh, connect to each other. So like, the left side of the map is the right side of the map. Okay. That's kind of cool. I sorry. I just it's very cool. did not notice that before. Watched the sphere and gotten traumatized by it yet. So pretty much something happened that shouldn't have happened, but oh well. So uh, hey. Lulu, uh, as you head in to follow suit, 
uh, the tunnel actually leads upwards. And inside, you hear a much lower droning noise of insects. Ah, oh, shit. You also hear, like, in, like some infernal. Oh, See ya. I'm heading straight for it, if that's where Lulu is. Following after. Okay, are you stealthing at all? I mean... Because you hear this well before you... Uh... Okay, if we're running and then hear it and then can stealth, yes. Okay, give me a stealth check. Gladly. Seventeen. Five. Okay. Sixteen. Okay. And I, I oh, and then Rick Defend, I assume, is staying back with Skelly Boys for now. Yeah. Okay. Um Nix, as you peek your uh head through the tunnel that seems to actually go back upwards, and there's like a hole and you're just like as you like peek your head through to look stealthfully. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, you see a much, this is the largest actual cave section that you've uh, seen so far. And uh, I'm just moving the map for those at home. Uh, and you see two iron chains attached to the ceiling, uh, and they end in hyena skulls that bite into the flesh of a devil with sharp spines covering its thin man-sized body, which he recognizes as a barbed devil. Uh, jabbing the chained devil with a long, per, long syringe-like mosquito, per, I can never say the word. Proboscis. 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 Um, are three droning flies as big as horses. They seem to have, oddly enough, gross, um, almost hyena-like traits. As they're buzzing around that room. On the ground, below the devil, don't say Lulu, don't say Lulu. you see Lulu asleep. At least you, you're hoping to sleep. Well, I, well, she still has that death ward. Uh, I'm not taking any chances. I apologize for the rest of the group. Nix is going to jump up and immediately cast Chain Lightning. All right. As you jump up, uh, roll initiative. Surprise round. Uh, you will go for you'll go you'll be the only one to go on the first round. Okay. But we're just still rolling initiative. Of course they got a nat twenty. A natural twenty. Hey. Okay, so they might not go first. So that is a total of twenty three for Braca. Ooh, okay. Tricky tricky. What did uh what did everybody else get? Because I'm definitely having everybody else roll. Eighteen for Nix. Thirteen. 17. Okay, 17 for Koi, 18 for Nyx. What was Rick Defense? 13. 14, that's right. So, um, since no one else gets to go on the first turn, Nyx, you move, jump up, and you cast Chain Lightning. When you cast Chain Lightning, do you allow the devil to be within the range of that chain lightning? Because you could easily hit all three of these ho horse-sized fly things and this chained devil. And what? Lulu is nowhere close to them. She's on the ground. This this devil that's being hang hung up in the air is about, look on the map here, about 25 feet suspended in the air. So my logic is this. Nick sees this. This is almost exactly like the Iron Forest. The one that's all the, the, what'd you say, Spike Devil? Mm hmm. The Spike Devil is already pinned and chained down. Oh, bar sorry, Barbed Devil, my bad. Barbed Devil. Um, Barbed Devil is already pinned and chained down. I'm only hitting the Flying Probuscus. Okay, so you're aiming for the three fly things. Correct. These are definitely not your average flies. You're pretty sure these are demons. I'm fairly certain, yeah. So deck saves for them, right? Correct. Deck saving throw, and remember, they do not get advantage. Uh, um, yeah, they don't get advantage or resistance because I have elemental adept. 
Elemental Adept doesn't give them advantage either. No, the Elemental Adept for me means that anything that has resistance for lightning no longer has that resistance. So they wouldn't get the advantage for it. Oh, okay, I get you. Right. Uh, dirty 20, uh, 12, and a nat 20. Okay, so, so one, one passes, one. I, or one fails. One I fails, yeah. But, let's see what we get. They do have huge butts, because they're flying. Right. Huge, disgusting butts. Right. So anyway, that's a total of 54 lightning damage. Wow. Okay. So... Um, yeah, there's no additional effect. Just 54 lightning damage on the one that didn't pass, and half as much for... 27 yeah. for the others. Yes. Which is still quite a quite a shock, to say the least. Huh? <laughs> uh, I feel horrible. Um, so... <laughs> Immediately after that, <clears throat> it loops back around, and it's Baraka's turn, as you just hear, like, Nick's like, ah, shoot, lightning. Whoa, that was an awesome effect from Static yeah. in my yeah. headphones. Yeah, I heard that. That was, that was cool. That was really good. Oh, yeah. uh, thank you. Run, run <laughs> up, gonna see what's happening. Just eyes go wide again, because mm -hmm. we, fought, we, we fought one of these things on our way down from El Toro, right? No. Oh, wait, we didn't? No. Didn't oh, we never encountered them? these. No, we thought, we thought it was. This, no. that, was a, that was a hell wasp. This is definitely not something from hell. Oh, okay. So, all right, Brock is going to point at one of, like, one of the ones nearest Lulu. Imagine a I horrible, think... like, large-sized fly that has, like, a mix between fly and hyena traits, and its face is almost humanoid. We did fight one of these. I think it was during the, the like the mute episode, though. Oh, it was when you guys were literally descending yeah, we were into Avernus. Yeah, That's yeah. right. Literally descending into Avernus. Yeah. Yeah, you did see one of something like one of these before. That one had bull horns on it, though, if I recall. Right. Right. Mm. But Braca sees this these things, kind of flashes back to that hyena thing. Eyes go wide, kind of fearful. And uh, which one's closest to um, to Lulu? Um. All of them are fairly far away from Lulu. They're about 30 feet above her. She's on the ground, um, not moving. Right, so we're within 30... Are we in, within 30 feet of them? No. Right. Okay, One, so two, just going to... three, four, five... You're actually about 50 feet away. Uh, uh, did I use all my movement to get up to where Nyx is at? I'll say it was half because you were right behind Nyx. Right, so I'm going to get to where they're within... Um, in at least 30 feet. Okay. I'll... I'm going to cast Blight on them. This is standard Blight on one of them. Okay. Uh, one of them, like two of them kind of swerved out of the way and they did get a, like lightning hit them. Mm -hmm. And the other one, you saw the, the lightning actually go straight through it. And that one looks the most hurt. Do you aim for that one or do you aim for one of the other two? I'm gonna aim for one of the other two because they we need to just make sure we get rid of uh, uh, we get as many as possible. Okay, that's a con save. Con save. Con save. Ooh, uh, does an 18 pass? It does. Okay, so they would so take half half damage. So, what was what was the total? I I can half it. 40, uh, Forty-three. Okay. So, you hit that one, and it's pretty beat up now. It wilts a little bit, almost like a raisin because of blight. Right, and then I'm going to have my my elemental. The the air elemental. Mm -hmm. It's got a fly speed of ninety feet. I want it to um, fly towards the other one that's still undamaged and go into its space and use its whirlwind ability. Okay. Nice. So this thing is give me a DC thirteen strength save. Strength. Strength. Yeah. Is that a AOE the whirlwind? 
it's um, it's within its it flew into the creature space. It can occupy its space. Right. So only, only one of them is affected. Mm -hmm. uh, the total on the strength check is a fifteen. Yeah, that passes. Does, it, does anything happen, or probably takes half it's if it's probably, damage. Probably takes half. It doesn't see. It says yeah, half plunging damage. It isn't. It isn't flying away or knocked prone. So that's pretty eight. Does fifteen have fifteen bludgeoning damage? Have okay, so that's seven. Right. So yeah, that's that's Brock's turn. Oh, and I guess bonus action should we have the staff? Okay, sorry, I'm replying to a private message. No problem. Okay, so after Braca is their turn. So um, all three of them immediately are not going to deal with the devil. That's definitely not a problem for them. They were just toying with it. So all three fly down towards Nyx and Braca. And as they do, the... Um, the buzzing noise seems to get louder in your heads as they get closer. And I'm going to have the one that got directly hit by the lightning definitely attack um, Nyx. Because okay. Nyx clearly was the one that shot lightning. Um, <laughs> Probably going to be a shield moment. Another one will also come up and try to stab at you with its, with its nose. And then the third one will go after Braca. Uh, does a 13 hit on Nyx? Haha, -ha, no. Okay. How about a 16? No. Did you have to cast shield? No. Wow, you have a really high AC for sorcerer. He oh, mage armor? Yup. Yeah, okay. Every day. All right, and then Brockus. Brockus, not so lucky. 21. Nah, that hits. Oof. All right. Uh, holy crud. All right. So, uh, Bronca gets stabbed in the shoulder by this fly thing that's bigger than Bronca. Taking too much damage. I shouldn't have rolled. I should have just went with the average. But too late for that now. Well, um, I mean, you can always choose. You take 19 piercing damage. Plus, a lot more damage. That's a lot of damage. Oh, but wait, I'm not done yet. Oh, no. no. Um, That's a lot of damage. Exactly, exactly. That's, just, that's what this thing is. Give him ideas, people. Ugh. Okay, you take 25 necrotic damage on top of that. 25 total? Oh, on top no, of necrotic on top of the piercing damage from before. Okay. That necrotic damage reduces your hit point maximum by that amount. Oof. As it sucks up your blade. Oh dear. I'm sorry. Does what? It sucks up your blade. Okay. Somebody clip that, please. Thank you. <laughs> Come to suck your blade. I just expect Kevin to use that any any time he comes back in as uh, as Resnet. And hey, Nix, it's your turn. As you look over, and Bronca got hit by one of those, and that looks like it hurt really bad. And there's two, like, on you. Okay. How close together are they? Yes. <laughs> they are on you. Yeah, right. they're two large-sized creatures on a small-sized creature. Don't take that out of context. Too late. Anyway. <laughs> zero days, Scotty. Zero days. Always. They're within five feet of each other, if that was a question. Hmm. If I use of, my move... One of them is just like... 
took me half a second to realize you weren't doing the Imperial March. Um, there we go. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Our our stream's been shut down. It was the oh, mouse. Wow. Okay, this orb of dragon kind is completely different than what I thought it was. There are specific charges for specific spells that are there. Okay. Anyways, um, side note away. If I, would I be able to move? in such a way that I can line all three of them, or at least two of them up, in a line? Uh, I would say, actually, you could, but you provoke attacks of opportunity. Because you'd be moving through the right and squares. I'm, I'm going to risk it. Okay. Uh, as you move, to angle yourself right, two jabs. Nat 20. Oh, jeez. And a 21. Ah. Uh, well, I so, guess I can't use shield at this point. D100 first. Right, the down under. Hey, that's my joke. Oh, no. 91. Oh, boss. It can make a follow up attack. Oh. It's not as bad as it's. Gets a nat 19. Just barely hits. Did you cast shield? Oh, I could do that? Absolutely, freaking lootly I cast shield. When do you cast know? shield? As I start my movement and they <laughs> provoke the attacks. Jesus. Okay. None of, none of them hit me. Good God. The nat 20 no, does. The first one, yes. Oh, the nat 20 still does? No matter yeah. what, a nat 20 hits. Yeah. All right, it well. always hits. Okay, so then just like how a nat one always misses, even if you somehow had like a plus thirteen to hit. I always thought that was would... for the DM's discussion, but at this point it's moot because you're the DM. So, so yeah, just the one hits me then. Okay, so. But it's a crit hit, so. Next. Yes. Next, Rooney. Chest. Good old buddy, old chum, old pal. Chest. Oh. Fucking spell it. You take thirty-two piercing damage. Plus 48 necrotic damage. And that necrotic damage reduces your max HP. Are you still up? Nope. You aren't? Nope. That kills me outright, I believe. You're if the after the psychic. If right. this effect reduces a creature's hit point maximum to zero, the creature dies. Hang on. Did we get any type of rest that would have healed me from the psychic damage? Yeah. We took the long rest after, right? Or not? Oh. No, we took a short rest. Oh, right. The rest should have, yeah. Could have spent hit dice, but didn't. Oh, it's if your hit point maximum reaches zero. You reach zero, but it didn't make your maximum zero, correct? Oh. Uh, correct. Now, I do want to ask... And okay, you're on death saving throws. You're not dead outright. So, just out of curiosity, I'm assuming at this point we're not going to allow me to do any of the... Um, you're rest, unconscious. Short rest D6 HP regain rolls from before for the short rest. We right. could have chosen that. That's what we did. You, you guys didn't, so... Yeah. So... Okay. Nyx falls... As Nyx went to move into a, a more strategic position, the one just stabs you straight through the chest, bleach style, and you just got a giant hole through your chest. I'm about to eat you, go this bitch, if I get back up. And you said it was how much necrotic that reduced my max? 48. 4, 8. That's average. I could have rolled it. I'm aware. Still not but happy. I don't trust my dice because I roll on all those d6s. I kept rolling sixes. So uh, at one point I had three sixes in a row. It was interesting. Hmm. No omen at all. Um, so after Nix's turn, it is Koi's turn. Koi, you're coming up the tunnel and collapsing down into the tunnel. Is an unconscious Nix 
with a giant hole through their tiny little cobalt body. Oh, um... Yeah, I'm no healer. I'm really bad at that. Um, but I got any potions? You see three horse-sized fly demon creatures in front of you. I have a poisoner's kiss. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, I'm gonna shoot at the things. Would a bandage stabilize me? Healers' kits right, can stabilize you. So can medicine checks. So, okay, you fire at one of them? Yeah. Okay. One of them looks more hurt than the other. I will start with that one. Okay. So, first shot. They are big, right? They are large size, yes. And they don't seem... Uh, anyway, I'm going to try to sharpshoot it, the thing. Okay. They don't have any armor, but... Demons never wear armor. They just innately yeah. hide. That's a 15. 15 just hits. Ooh, okay. I wanna, I'm gonna spend a super dice. Oh. oh no, I just realized. You started your turn fairly close to it. I need a constitution saving throw. I'm sorry. Uh, that's a uh, 17. Okay. Um, there's... Something with the buzzing going on, and it seems to make your head kind of fuzzy and stuff. But then you sharpshoot and you hit. Okay, I'm gonna use my um, super ready dice to allow Rick to move towards Snakes. Or whatever Rick wanna move. <laughs> wants to move. Rick defends like a hundred feet away at the other end of the tunnel because Rick Finn didn't follow you guys. Oh, right. But if he gains the movement, he can get at least his max movement and then uh, close enough to dash to me, I think. He moves half his speed. He can move half his speed. Right. Never mind. Rick Finn, I assume because you hear battle, you're going to move forward, right? Uh, yes, but when did I say I was staying back? I, I asked, hey, uh, when everybody else was scouting ahead to sneak up to see where Lulu was, everyone else was saying they're going, and I'm like, Rick Devin, you're, you're just going to you're gonna stay here, right? And you said yes. I okay. will use it then instead on Bracas so she can move towards Nyx. She doesn't uh, provoke any attack of opportunity if she moves with that. Okay. I do that. How much damage? 20 piercing damage. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, you hit it and it starts bleeding everywhere. Looks oh, really messed up. Like another shot like that would definitely end this thing's existence. Twenty twenty nine, actually. Twenty nine? Uh, a bit more bleeding, same thing. <laughs> it's still yeah. up, but it's very, very hurt. Yeah, uh, I'm going to shoot it at it again. Regular shot. Okay. So that's a 22 to hit. 22 hits. Um, 9 piercing damage. That bolt ends it. Okay. It falls, uh, it falls to the ground, and it almost hits Nyx's unconscious body, but it just misses. Okay, with my third attack, I will uh, hit the other one that was with Nyx. Okay. I will sharp shoot. That's a 15 again. 15 hits. I will use my super dice to try and make it fall Push back. No, I will. They're all flying, so prone would that probably help. Yeah, but then I will craft this advantage on the next attack. Oh, yeah, that's right. I will. Um... 
I will push it back back 15 feet, try to push it back 15 feet. It needs that dex uh, strength saving throw. Does a 15 pass? Just passes, yeah. Okay. You don't push it back, but you still get that extra damage and stuff. Twenty-six piercing damage. Okay. And now I'm going to action surge and attack three more times. Okay, this one's really, really bloodied. So this one again, regular shot. Okay. I mean, not sharpshooter. Mm -hmm. That's a twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. I will spend superior the dice now to try and make it full brown. Okay. It got a nat 20, but I think you killed it. 26 piercing damage? Yeah, you killed it. <laughs> and there's okay. one left. That's on Bronco. Oh, oh yeah, 26 piercing damage. Uh... Oh, no, 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 sorry. 16 piercing damage, because it was not so sure then. It, it only had 10 left, oh, okay. so it's still okay. dead. Yeah, I'm sorry. Now there's just one horse-sized flying demon thing, and it's on Bronco. I think you have one shot left. Two. Shot three times, right? So far? And action surge. Four. I, sh I shot four and I have six when I action surge. Oh, that's right. You did gain a third attack at this level. Okay. Yeah. Uh, regular attack. 21. Your crossbow turns into a revolver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hit. Um, super easy dice. To make it full brown. Revolver coin. <laughs> I'm burning everything. It fails. <laughs> it falls brown. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. 20 piercing damage. All right. Um, I'll say you haven't used your full move yet. And <laughs> normally Another. it's disadvantage yeah and normally yeah. it's disadvantage when they're prone but if you're yeah. right next to them i'll say it negates the disadvantage because it's like a point blank oh. shot yeah because i can shoot at melee with crossbow expert mm -hmm. but no disadvantage but i'm gonna try to shoot it from afar anyway without the sharpshooter okay understandable with disadvantage it's okay and that's uh, 13, so I miss. 13, it hits it, but it does not pierce through it far enough. Just hit okay. the nose, just mm -hmm. stuck in its nose. Okay. Yeah, uh, no, that's my turn. <laughs> on, on your turn, you hear footsteps, like wet, wet noises of like footsteps coming down one of the tunnels. You don't have dark vision, right? Uh, nope. I just realized they left you alone with no light source. <laughs> oh. Oh, Guys. Wizard's dead. oh, Wizard's dead. Coming from the other end of the tunnel, the way you guys didn't come from, you hear slow, menacing footsteps coming closer. What do you do? How can footsteps also, also, you hear a Wilhelm Kobold scream down the tunnel where your party is. You're surrounded by your skelly boys? Oh yes, of course. They can technically see, but they can't really communicate with you, so... Start make going for the Wilhelm bolt. Okay, Alright. That uh, is not becoming a thing. Do you, do you dash? Uh, yes. For the sake of convenience, I'll say it, full turn and you and your skeletons are there. So, Richtofen runs down the tunnel, wet squishing sounds as you running down this tunnel, and your skeletons follow. The footsteps that were coming from the opposite direction do not speed up, but they are moving in the same direction you are. For now. Um, after Richtofen. How, how close have I uh, got to the party? Uh, you're, you're there. It took your action and your move to do that. 
Okay. You you have a bonus action if you wanted to do that. Tell us that something's coming. Because the skeletons also had to dash to stay with you. So I wouldn't be able to cast anything with my bonus action, would I? If you have a spell that is uh, casting time of a bonus action, you could. Such as Misty Step or Healing Word, which I don't think wizards can get Healing Word, but... Exactly Ominous Thunder ominous in the distance. Thunder. Yeah. And Nyx didn't even do it this time. That's here. That's that's the sound of you going to zero hit points and falling down. I'll take that. I will absolutely take that. Sending stone just like Nyx? Nyx? Nyx! <laughs> I went from I hate you, Scotty, to I love you, Scotty. <laughs> I try. So oh. nothing that has an action I can't use. No. Okay. Not in this turn, anyway. Oh! No, okay, yeah. Yeah, you're good. Um, so, that's that's everything for you? Well, I would alert them and say, we got something coming behind us! Uh, oh. 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 <laughs> really beat up um, horsefly demon. Flies are circling above the kobold. One, okay? It's one fly circling me. It's just really fucking big. The one that's left is actually on your orc druid. Your half-orc druid. Uh, but <laughs> the other ones, you just see crossbow bolts. Just They're just pummeled with crossbow bolts. <laughs> and Koi just like, like just standing one leg on one Captain Morgan pose, you know? Crossbow smoking. Yeah. <laughs> It would be smoking one <laughs> shot per second. It's it's impossible. I mean, it's absolutely impossible. Uh, after Richtofen, um, it is Bronca's turn. All right. So I hear that. And how far away is the other bug, the last bug? It's on you. This, okay. this is the one if that I'm was attacking I'm not mistaken, you. it's still in you. Right. Bron. It, it's, oh, it's not yeah, Bron. It, okay. Oh, it's Bron. Aka just looks down at this thing and just snarls. I'm going, and she's going to swing at it twice with the with the uh, the Shillelagh staff. Sweet. You do have advantage. Yeah. Twenty-seven to hit. Yep, <laughs> definitely hits. And it's six. Bludgeoning damage? Not much. Doesn't do it, doesn't kill it, I meant, right? It does not kill it, but it seemed to really hate that. Alright. And as bonus action, uh, our dying kobold friend from my ball of the spirits thing is going to get 66 healing. Keep in mind your HP max is still reduced. Oh. Yeah. 19 HP back to Nyx. I just realized. No. <laughs> I do always say that when something bad happens and I think about yes, it. Yes, specifically uh, <laughs> to Nyx. <laughs> Baraka, I need a con save. Con save, that's what I figured this was. How much was that again, Baraka? That was... Uh, 19? 19, yeah, I believe. Okay. You might not get that depending on what what they get, what Baraka gets 11. in the save. That was an 11. Brock, at the beginning of your turn, the droning noise seems to uh, put you, like, you just, your thoughts become really foggy and you just collapse unconscious. So, Brock actually doesn't even get to smack. Yeah. Oh. Uh, is asleep. Oh, no. The air elemental, though. Uh, it didn't, you didn't give it any commands. Right. Guess so, it's just... just dodge action. Dodge action, yeah. Being super helpful. Yeah. Uh, I really hope I, that my internet doesn't cut out from this weather. But yeah, it's now on. Horse to... flies turn. Go for the tasty meal it was already eating. The really annoying fish thing. Or a smaller, but maybe also tastier meal. The last one. Or 
this new possible thing to play with that went running down the tunnel towards you guys, aka Richterfin. So I'm going to have a d4. No. Damn it. <laughs> Nyx will be a 3. Okay, we'll, we'll go like this. Brock is 1. Koi is 2. Nyx is 3. Richterfin is 4. All right. Charge it up with Thander energy or something. I don't know. Anyway. Rolling up another character sheet. It buzzes over towards the unconscious body of Nyx, giving uh, Koi and Richtofen attacks of opportunity. Uh, it's Amelia. I mean, I, I always have the. Shoot the her. Can I? Can, I mean, I can melee shoot, but can I? Uh, no, right. You have to, okay. It has to be a melee attack, or if you have the Warcaster feet, or if you're right. the okay. War subclass wizard, you can use a cantrip. Can I, though, try to slash it with a rapier instead of... Yes. Okay. Okay. Please do. I, I will definitely try. <laughs> and I will slash my claws and hit with three damage. Do you have that? What would you roll to hit? Uh, melee. Okay, yeah, you roll... 16. 16 would hit, and Richtofen, your claws, I believe, are based off of... Either strength the, or dex. He's got the claws of stabby. That's a that's what? a spell thing. No, they do extra damage because they're claws of stabby. Don't they? What? Remember gauntlets. the gauntlets that he got. They have the spell ability with them, but do they not increase the amount of damage that his claw attack does? Because oh. they're claws of stabby? I'll say they add an extra d4 necrotic. Okay. Uh, I will, though, spend a superiority dice because it's a melee, I mean, it's a weapon attack, so... Mm -hmm. I will try to make it full brawn right here, right now. I roll 18 feet. to hit. 18? Yeah. Okay, you both hit. Uh, we'll do Rick Defense damage first. Uh, the straight claw is a 3, and then you said another, another d4 for a necrotic? Yes. Oh, full damage four. Oh, that's that's good. That's pretty good. Um, so you get a good swipe with your cl with the shadow claw thing, and stab with the rapier, and you're going to try to knock it prone. Yeah. Got a four total, so it gets knocked prone from your stab. Yeah. What? So it, it doesn't get to next, right? It does not get to next. <sighs> Now, since it decided to fly over here, do the boys get to say hello? They were... No. <laughs> hmm. Monkey stuff. 11. 11 non-magical stabby damage. Surprisingly, not resistant. So... Oh. You... I was wasting... Claw attack, I'll say the claw attack was surprisingly effective. And it was like... It like buzzed angrily at you, Richtofen. And I was like, enough of a distraction that it was like a coordinated attack. And Koi stabs at the rapier and like pushes it downwards and knocks it prone. And seriously, that thunder is like perfect. Um, even though you guys are like inside <laughs> I can still a cave. Yeah. Um, oh, you meant that. <laughs> My bad. Then, um, that was its turn. So. After its turn, it is Nyx's turn. And Nyx, I need a death saving throw. Straight 20, right? Straight yeah. 20. You could ask a friend for help, though. If the if it comes to it. Also. Actually, never mind. Let me know what you get. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 16. Okay. After Nyx's turn, she says, like, fucking. When I used to run Ravenloft, like, that, that would play. Like, it would be thunderstorming here, and it was, like, too perfect. Um, Is that a pass or a fail? That's a pass. Okay, thank you, because I needed to know what to mark. If you get an 11 or higher on a death saving throw, it's a pass. Okay, thank you. If you get a nat 20, it counts as two. Actually, no. If it's a nat 20, you're immediately up at one hit point. 
Yeah, that's right. But if it's a nat one, it's two. Fails. It's two fails. Yeah. Um, Koi, it's your turn again. It's prone. Uh, it looks okay, really yeah. hurt. I will drop my rapier, grab my crossbow, and try to shotgun it to the ground. Okay. Uh, regular shots. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're right next to it, so I would say, yeah, you um, negate the disadvantage. Okay. Just imagine that Koi just plants a foot on it, uh, Doom Slayer style, and just... Yeah, 24 to hit. Yep. Okay, I don't have any more tricks, so it will... Not deal a lot of damage. <laughs> Seven piercing damage. Okay, still Second moving. Attack. Uh, Twenty-six to hit. Mm -hmm. Eight damage. On that strike, bolt. It twitches and stops <laughs> moving. And I will attack a third time, just in case. OK. Double tap. 27 to hit. Yep. 11 damage. Uh, no, 9 damage. Sorry. You shoot a bolt through, and the back of its head just OK. Baraka and Nyx and Lulu are still unconscious. Speaking of which, I... Nyx, give me another death save. I didn't get to go. Okay, Rick defend. I was about to say. Uh, might as well, uh, yeah, I might as well keep initiative. So, Rick defend. Uh, are there any more anything to attack or be attacked by? There's the, that barb devil that's hanging up there that's bloodied. He's still moving. Uh, he, he's fine for right now. All right, I want to roll Nix over, um, place my hand. Oh, Beside the hole in his chest and uh, cast life transference. Ooh, okay. Oh. How much damage do you deal to yourself? I deal 21, but I'm uh, resistant to necrotic, so wouldn't I take half of that? Yes. Aha. Cool. So he would gain 42 HP back. Does. Mm... Yeah, okay, yeah. So, Nick, I'm not sure if that has already reached your new cap on total hit points, but you heal 42 from that. Shit, I just closed all of my tabs. Hang on. Because you're at minus 48 of your total. I, I know, I know. Thank you very much. Didn't need to be reminded. Okay, give me just a second. My calculator. But Baraka and Lulu are still unconscious. They appear to be sleeping, actually. So, yeah, that almost pulls me back up to max. My new max. Uh, next. You wake up to seeing Richtofen over top of you, his hand on your chest. Told you you were a good medic. I was going to say you see black veins all over his arm, but black scale dragonborn, so. Right. So, um. I'll say his arm bleeds a whole bunch. Just like, looks like a bunch of veins just. Reach the surface skin and popped or something, just to show that you took damage. Okay. Yeah, just wait till you get the bill. Actually, <laughs> as a trade-off, just coming conscious and seeing the blood, Nyx reaches up and touches the orb, the blue dragon orb, to you, and casts cure wounds on you. Let's see, that's one d eight plus eight. So, oh, I took ten damage. <laughs> You heal 11 damage from the orb. Oh, that's right. You're using the orb. Yep. The orb has cure wounds, and it just healed him for the rest of the damage. Now, would I get a temp HP above that? or? No, it doesn't have that kind of ability. Okay. 
Huh, I had a hangnail, apparently. <laughs> um, Nix, give me a charisma check. Check or saving throw? It says charisma check, but I'm going to go with charisma saving throw. Wonderful, because I have a plus eight for that. Yeah. Which makes it a 26. All right. Um, while attuned to the orb, if you use that action to use one of the orb's abilities for the first time, so I forgot to do it the first time you used it, mm. you must make a charisma saving throw. And on success, you control the orb as long as you remain attuned to it. On a fail, well, we won't know unless that happens later. <laughs> Jesus. You're going to explode eventually, aren't you? <laughs> I'm made of lightning. When am I not? Mm. Oh, by the way, we, we should see if on the others. All right. Yeah, let's try to wake up Rock and Uh how do you try to wake them up? I'm staying on the ground for a few minutes. Uh, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Rick to Finn, oddly enough, uh you do not hear those footsteps anymore. The ones that were down the tunnel. Anyway, so go up to Braca, shake her violently, doesn't wake up. And give me Arcana checks on these demons that you just survived fighting. That I can do. 25. Uh, I can never pronounce their name right, but they are called Chasme. Chasm? I don't know. It's Chasm with an E at the end. Demons. Chisme. 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 Um, and they're the big fly demons, and they have a horrible ability called drone, and they emit a, that horrible droning sound you guys are hearing, and um, it can cause creatures to fall unconscious. Um, they won't be unconscious forever, but the only way to get um, them conscious again before you just let time do the work is to either splash them with holy water... Which or injure have. them, or in, or they take any damage. I poke her with my claw. Okay, uh, Bronca, you take one damage and you're awake. <sighs> oh my head! What the Nix? It's over. Nix is up. Yeah, uh, your head. Oh God! Nix still has like a a hole in the chest, like like Nix is a hollow from Dark Souls. <laughs> He's still damaged even after taking whatever healing happened. No, I'm. It's like a big back. giant scar almost. It's like a, yeah. like the Naruto oh. scar or something. Oh, okay. Like there's a giant hole in my sh in my shirt, my clothing, and the scar. Yeah, there th there's no hole anymore. It's closed, but it's just this okay. very obvious, uh, linger. Right. Okay. Good. I mean, is it pretty? But it's it's effective. Right. Yeah, and you didn't take any. Well. You ended up without any damage taken. Did did Koi get hit at all? Looks over at Koi, completely uninjured. Right. Right. I guess you could say I hit myself. Let's get Lulu. Let's get, Lulu, let's get Lulu up. Koi, for saving everybody, you don't lose any. You don't lose any of those bolts you've used. Because <laughs> I know that was going to be a question. Mm -hmm. You head over. Yeah. To, you head over to Lulu. And you just hear this like gentle little like. Oh God! Ow! <laughs> My toe. <laughs> she, she wakes up. <laughs> Wake up! Go back to sleep. There's there's demons in here. <gasps> oh, you took care of them. Mm -hmm. Gonna free me too? You hear from the devil hanging above it, right above. And you are. Uh, you can just call me Allah. I'm not joking. I mean, he looks at the camera. I'm not joking. That's my name. In the book. Uh, we freed every single demon that we found. Gates. Why not this one? <laughs> well, this one's the devil. Oh, right. This one's the devil. How anyway. Uh, how, how high is he? He's like 25 feet above you. Oh. I would say he's like halfway between you, the ceiling and the floor. So the ceiling's like 50 feet up and he's halfway. Ch dangling from chains. 
and there's like these hyena sc skulls on the ends of the chains that are actually like like a hunting trap binding to it, this devil's arms, just having it dangle up there. Oh, you want to shoot the chains? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Alright, um, roll to hit. They do have AC and hit points. Oh. Um. <laughs> You're like, oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I don't, I don't hit very hard now that I have spent everything. Um, I will try to sharp shoot. Yeah, okay. I we have a problem. What's the problem? I lost concentration on uh, conjure elemental. The air elemental now hates us. Oh, concentration is for. You hear down the tunnel a explosion. That wasn't me. A relatively small explosion. That might have been me. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Finn, I think you already have an inspiration point, but you you have an inspiration point now. <laughs> you thought you were starting to feel a draft in this room, and the draft immediately ended. So, is the air elemental a thing that we need to be? Uh concerned about or you hear, you hear what sounds like uh, an engine from like a like a gnome's tinkering thing because you, you've heard of tinkering gnomes that make contraptions and they make machines of steel and they have engines that make a uh, like sputtering noises and stuff you hear that down the tunnel where you guys were it, uh, it says that if the concentration is broken, the elemental doesn't disappear, you lose control of it, it becomes hostile to you and your companions, and it might attack. Mm -hmm. It can't be dismissed by you, and, and it, as it disappears an hour after you summon it. Mm -hmm. So is it coming for us, or because it was in the room with us, and I had it attack the one thing? Um, I would say it just left. Oh, okay. I got a thing. But, I got to go. But after, but you, you like you, you don't see it because it's just air. It but just... you feel like a very quick gust of wind violently move down the tunnel where you guys were, and as it does, that's when you hear the explosion and the engine like. Dun, 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 Sixteen to hit the chain. Yeah. You shoot it, and your crossbow hits it, but it deflects off. Okay. Yeah, do you want to check out the explosion or... first, or, or do you no. want me to like actually aim at it? <laughs> I'm just gonna look up at the the devil and just go. What are you doing down here? Up there. Up there, down here. Up there, down here. What are you doing in the upside down? Can I come into the out now? I can tell you. I can tell you information about this place if you let me down. You tell us the information first, then we'll let you down. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, then. Have a nice time hanging out. Let's go find out what that noise was. Okay. Have, a fun, have a fun time. Puts hand Looks like you're doing just a great job here. What's the fan on Richard and shoulder? You promise to leave us alone, we can get you down. Promise is my middle name. I am a devil, after all. <laughs> mm. Are we at an agreement, then? I will not harm you, and you free me, and I'll give you information about this place. Sounds pretty good to sounds pretty good on your end. As long as this doesn't cost any of us a soul or anything like that, we're good. I've been there, I've done that. Yeah, we're kind of uh, we're kind of uh, burnt on deals right now, but okay, we can come to an agreement and, uh, and uh, do something with the chains. Without yeah, we'll see. Tusk. We'll say you guys eventually get the chains. They had an AC of 19 and 15 hit points, so it would have took a while. But you eventually get the chains down. I'm not going to BS the meta for that uh, for too long. Um, we could have just broke one chain and went fly, swing into the wall. Ah, this entire time, Nyx is still at the bottom of that hole, just lying there, holding the orb on their chest. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be... And as he lands on the ground and gets up 
and like the blood from because he's a barbed devil so like he you know barbs on the flesh so any surface he touches it just starts bleeding profusely he gets up and he goes to like like rub his arms and stuff and he goes thank you now am I into the deal there's a bunch of demons down here they're under, under the command of a Nelfnishi named Trent Onlux. they're trying to find the entrance to the citadel here but they or no wait sorry I'm reading my own information wrong. They have found the entrance to the citadel, but it seems like it's been protected and they can't break in. Uh, a shadow demon of theirs has found Yonigo's lost pet, the great demon Kronekotok. tight. It's in the harder part of the scab, just below us. Rakta's face immediately pales at the, at the word Yonigo. There's a there's a pack of demons that are trying to scrape their way through this the hard part of the scab trying to free it. Well, I'm gonna go report this to Zariel. Good luck down here. Right. Oh, I'm See not... The barb devil goes to walk off so into the tunnel. Nobody's gonna stop them after naming Zariel. I mean Hey, she's fighting demons, you're fighting demons. I don't see why you can't side with her at yeah. least a little bit. And, and this Brock is, the is devil. kind of Brock is kind of just like there. She's just she's oh. she's here physically, but she's kind of you can tell she's kind of just processing something. Also, there's rumors that the slayer is back. Yeah. Not that you Burks yeah. would know what that is. Have fun. And he goes to walk off. Let's hope Thank the Slayer you. doesn't you, find you, you as you hear in the darkness. Would we, would we know what that was? I thought we heard something about that in uh, Candle Keep. Yes. Yes, you did hear about that. Apparently, there is a solar that travels through the, uh, the lower plains and kills de demons and devils. Oh, Buffy. That's that's pretty cool. I, I remember we heard we heard uh, we read something about him being literally too angry to die, and he was like resurrected by some adventurers. Yeah, some adventurers apparently f he was like imprisoned for who knows how long in the abyss, and some adventurers found him and freed him. And now his wrath uh, goes through the lower plains like a like a plague. Solars are almost as strong as gods, right? Solars are archangels. They're the most powerful angels in existence. And this one's pissed off. And by the end, they rules everything good. It's slightly stronger than everything evil. At least slightly. It's a balance. But yeah, Baka is just standing there, just kind of. You can anybody who wants to can kind of insight her if they want. Lulu, well. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm always rolling bad for Lulu. Like, everything else is like, max damage, critical hits. It's comedic relief, honestly. Oh, is anyone else hurt? Yo. Uh, same here. Um, well, she flutters over to Nyx, I guess, and casts Cure Wounds. Got anything stronger. So would that uh, lift their max XP up? No. Or HP? What's your... Uh, healing 8, would that top you off? Not only would that top me off, that's two more than what my max is right now. Okay, so I guess you heal 6. And then, Bronca, you were hurt a little bit? Uh, yeah. She well, flies over. Maximum. She flies over. <laughs> and she heals you 4. Still not at my max, but Rock is just going to just take a deep breath and uh, just get some, do a little bit of heal on herself. Rock, are you doing okay over there? Six more. And she's like, no, but I can't deal with that right now. She sounds like she's trying to choke back something and she's going to 
walk over to like it was Nix and me that got hit, right? Yes. Yeah. And will we remember anything about these things? Pain from Candle Keep. Oh. Like how to get rid of the whatever it is doing to our health. Um, Richtofen scored high enough. Um that you know that the um this pe- this penalty to your max health lasts until you take a long rest or if you uh a spell cast on you of a very high level such as greater restoration could also negate it right hey rick yo that bubble of yours how long does it last eight hours can we take a nap? <laughs> yes, please. And by nap, I mean a long ass rest. Sure. Please. Fix one of us up if you want to keep going, but I think it might be good to rest. I was uh, I was already sleeping, but okay. Yeah, so thanks for that, Lulu. Scared the shit of a, out of us, by the way. That was the so. demon that put me to sleep, though. I don't give a shit what happened. You scared us. <laughs> anyway, I would do the animate there to re up the control and then t- cast a tiny hut for us to get a, a full rest. All right. And as you all take a long rest inside the scab, we will end it there for tonight. Okay. So, um, does anyone have any plugs? Yeah, to the hole in my chest. I did that already. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, boy. Um, You're welcome. Oh, well, I know Uis at least has some plugs. Sure. Uh, check me out on Twitter, and if you like the art you see, check out my Patreon. If you, uh, apart from wanting to see the cool monsters, you want to see naked people. Um, <laughs> Hello. Hot the naked. Girl art. Hot the naked girl oni art. girls and stuff like that. You know. Oh yeah. Good monster girl art. And monster monster art mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Dire, so, yeah. The Dire Mall just got a new uh got a new uh, new addition to the Dire Decks. Yeah, the Mimikyu. Mm. It was fun to learn about the Pokemon. It looks like a fan of nightmares. And uh I guess on that note we'll be ending it there. Uh thank you for watching and we'll see you next week. Stay safe, everybody. Bye everybody. Bye. Wash the hands. <laughs> no. No.